Blessings, everyone, and welcome to this morning live. All right. It's a pleasure having you all here. Yeah, and so, guys, as you know, this morning, uh, it's a YouTube Explained Live, where um, last night I was watching JC's live, and we were having a very interesting conversation, you know, as to like helping young or smaller YouTubers get their channels up and running. All right, so that's the discussion I'm really planning to have this morning. And, uh, you know, yeah, if you're a new YouTuber, you just type your channel name. I'll check your channel and I'll give you some pointers as to that channel, all right? Yeah, man. Hey, Peggy Clark, good morning, and thanks for joining. All right, it's a pleasure having you here. So, um, yeah, peeps, I'm actually using a new live streaming software. All right, so I'm not really familiar with it like that as yet. I'm just getting used to it. The first thing when I notice uh, my camera flip, so... I'm tell my head right, it go left, and I'm tell my head left, it go right, because my laptop is on my right hand side, and I see it left. But anyway, guys, I'm getting adjusted to this. Morning, Keribu. Thanks for joining. Angela Bemore, blessings. Thanks for joining. Kurt Neil Mathias, blessings. Thanks for joining. Delroy Stewart, blessings. Thanks for joining. All right, so um, guys, you know the process as you're entering. Please let me know where you're watching from. And if you can, let me know the, how the weather is in your neck of the woods, all right? If you're a YouTuber, let me know, type, uh, let me use, yeah, let me use J Formula. If you're, an, if you're a small YouTuber and you want me to promote your channel, I have a look at your channel and give you some pointers, you type YT in the chat, all right? Type YT in the chat and your channel name, all right? So, you know, say channel can private, private, your subscriber code can private because here and then I wouldn't know what I'm actually looking at. All right, so do that and uh, I will have a look at your channel. Is it the laptop in front of me? And I will give you some pointers as to things where you can tweak, things where you can correct, or you can go about doing stuff to attract more viewers, all right? Yeah, man. Julie Tupper, good morning, thanks for joining. Barbara Powell, good morning, thanks for joining. Yeah, man, blessings to Barbara Powell in New York and shout out to everybody who I watch from New York. Yeah, man, bless upon yourself. Courtney Matthias. Yeah, man. Oh, your weather is here in Philadelphia. Nice to know that. Shout out to every Jamaican watching from Philadelphia. Doc65, morning. Thanks for joining. It's a pleasure having you here, all right? Thunder Rebel, blessings, man. Thanks for joining and blessings to everyone watching from Maryland. All right, so, yeah, guys. As I said, if you're a small YouTuber and you want to get your channel promoted, you want to get pointers as to reaching a larger audience, just type the letters YT in the comment section in the chat. And uh, I will have a look at your channel and give you some pointers, all right? Cash the King, morning. Thanks for joining. And blessings to everyone watching from Artwood Connectwood. Marlene West, good morning. Thanks for joining. Oh, you're 43 degrees in Maryland. Chano. Well, um, 43 degrees cooler at uh, Isle Mail Israelite. Morning. Thanks for joining. It's a pleasure having you here. Oh, England. England, you're still having rain. Natalie Cousins, blessings. Thanks for joining. Margaret Thompson, blessings. Thanks for joining. Simon Goodlett, blessings. All right, so you know, uh, new subscribers, uh, new viewers, when I see you in the chat, I will be pinning your comment to the screen. All right, yeah, man. All right, Thomas, good morning. Thanks for joining. We said blazing 36 degree in Boston. All right, I like to hear that one. Yeah, for real. 
Oh, rain in England. Yeah, because I've been hearing that from yesterday. Francesco Martin, good morning. Thanks for joining. Blessings to everyone watching from Houston, Texas. All right. Well, on. Houston, Texas, or Austin, Texas. Um, Fill me in, peeps. I'm not going to slip. You know, but blessings to you and all the members. All right. Julie Tapper, 41 and Cole. Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to every Jamaican watching from Brooklyn, New York. Remember, guys, if you're new to the channel, um, you know, just trying to get to know the channel. Um, Brooklyn, New York. Shout out to every Jamaican watching from Brooklyn, New York. Remember, guys, if you're a new YouTuber, I'm just trying to give you some pointers as to how to go ahead and do your channel successfully. All right. So, yeah, I just want to say shout out to all of the people I'm on a price right to watch Elite Jamaica every morning. The big up on yourself is it. Uh, Shout out to all the workers downtown, Eustace Lee. Yeah, man. Big up on yourself and always tune in to Elite Jamaica. You see me? Prolific glass and windows. Big up on yourself. Always tune in to Elite Jamaica. Hey, Janet Wilson. Okay, so Cleveland, Ohio, 32 and cloudy. Okay, Janu. So, um, see guys, Peggy Clark, morning. Oh, you haven't got any rainers yet. All right. Yeah, man. So, you see, whenever time I do this, we actually get to know what's going on in other person's neck of the woods, you know. So, I sort of find this interesting, you know. So, guys, remember to like the video if you like the video. And share it also so other persons can get to watch all right so yeah guys thanks again for joining really appreciate y'all being here you know francesco martin you know the prime minister has placed a ban on all funerals like him said for virtual and may not really see the sense in that because how can you ban funeral but still keep weddings? Weddings can be can be um, postponed or put off to a later date. But with the funeral home, there is an extra cost every day the body is at the funeral home. So I don't really know what I'm going with the government and this thing. It's like they're do some crazy things right now where now have no explanation, you know? You know, so... um. I'm not really sure what's going on. Maxine Lawrence, good morning. Thanks for joining. It's a pleasure having you here. All right. So, um, yeah, guys, um, if you've got a YouTube channel and you're a small YouTuber, let me know in the chat so I can give you some pointers. If you think you need some pointers, I can give you some pointers. All right. Well, I um, we actually... I think I should be having a guest today. I'm not sure. Oh, she's not here as yet. But until then, we just uh, move forward. All right. Jano Francesco, that's sad. My brother has, in, has been in the funeral home from um, the 17th of January. Come on. Chine, good, good morning. Blessings. Thanks for joining. Yeah, man, them need to get wall of pressure upon them, is it? Yeah, I'm doing fine. Such a beautiful day in, here in Kingston, Jamaica, is it? Yeah, man. Marjorie Samuda, blessings. Thanks for joining. And shout out to everyone watching from England. Yeah. That, may I wonder if them just want the, the, the dead to just lay there like that, you know? Because there should be some measures put into place. Uh, obviously, they're not thinking about the people because they should have think about them thing and try to find a solution to them thing before it even get like that is it? Because you couldn't expect, say, like, John, no, I don't know what they were thinking, I swear, you know? Yeah, guys, so. Yeah, man, thank you all for watching. It's a pleasure having you here. All right. So um, the video I was telling you guys about yesterday, the extended version of the best places to live in Jamaica. 
That video they almost finished, so that will be uploaded after the live is finished. All right. So I don't know that's something that something just look lean because <laughs> it's inverted, guys. Yes. Yeah, so um, that video would be up once the live is finished. Uh, persons have requested that video, so I'm trying to get that finished as quickly as possible. But about halfway in the editing, <clears throat> just have some little pointers and some clips to put in, and after that, the video will be out. All right. Yeah, yeah, man, politics and also politics will function, is it for real? You know. Hey, Beulah all blessings. Thanks for joining. It's a pleasure having you here. Blessings to everyone watching from Europe. All right. Yeah, man. So, um, you see, whatever thing we are going on the country, I think it's just uh, a way to make the country get more revenue. It's a money-making thing. And not even say the country, but the money are going out of the pockets of the wealthy. Is it the persons who make the law, so to speak? Because honestly, I'm at a loss as to what's happening in Jamaica right now. People are dead left and right. Curfew imposed for the Prime Minister said it, you know, I met the jerk pan man and the street side did let them sell after curfew hours. We are going to sell. That means they have to go the curfew for the buy from the jerk chicken man then. You see me? Um, the businesses that are supposed to, you, you lock down the, the, the supermarket and the wholesale them and it, you open them, you, 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 you. it's like he's a puppet who is taking instructions because it not seems like I'm making one decision them at all. It not, it, not, it not look so. It not look like the government of Jamaica, not even the prime minister. It doesn't look like the government of Jamaica are making their own decisions at this moment. Is it? None of, none of this no make no sense that we see them alone. Tara J. Blogs and Dialogues, thank you for joining. It's a pleasure having you here. First time with you. Francesco Martin, thank you so much for that. I really appreciate that comment. All right. So, um, yeah, the as I was saying just now, the video I'm working on, that video will be up shortly after the live, all right? Um, I'm supposed to be joined by D, D, uh, D Martin, I think. I'm not remembering that name, but Simple Things YouTube channel. I'm supposed to be joined by the Simple Things YouTube channel. I'm not sure as yet. Yeah, man, for real, the rich always are gonna get richer, isn't it? Being rich in Jamaica, as we about YouTube, being rich in Jamaica is exponential. The more you're richer, the more you get rich. Is it? Yeah, man. So, um, the more you're poor, that's the more you get poor. You know, because first thing, if you don't have money, you can't stay healthy because medication, expensive food, expensive. Is it, man? Yesterday, um, I heard someone saying about, um, like, Someone was saying to them, they were telling someone that, like, bread raise. And the person was like, they're not here because they're not eat bread. I know, so may I listen to the person that talk, and not even me, them that talk, but may I listen to the message, you know. And he was like, I the same thing about another country, which are true, because, because some persons are not being affected. It's like them turn a blind eye, they're no business. You see me? Oh, one of my son gets shot, so I'm no business. Indeed. Oh, I know me, I know my daughter, I'm a kick off, so I'm in a business. You see me? Oh, I live uptown, they are downtown, so I'm in a business. And that are the attitude in a Jamaica. And that I mess up the thing, like seriously. You see it. Yeah, Jamaica is getting Americanized and really fast. You see me? Every single thing happened in the States. It happened in Jamaica, even on a smaller scale. Scale, it's still up. 
you understand? Sean Clue, yeah, may think um, real estate boom, yeah, but some parts of the parish still not going to benefit. Some parts of the parish still are going to remain poor. And uh, remember, you know, um, when these roads are built through the countryside and then they build up the schemes and stuff like that, you know, um, most of those persons living in those neighborhoods will be persons who come from other districts, other parishes, people who corporate persons who work nine to five, who them have their own vehicle and thing, and them just want to buy a house somewhere that's away from the city. Most of the time, these houses are built. When the house, them build a whole harbor. Now, whole harbor people, them buy the house, are people from all over. That's New Harbor Village, uh, one, two, three, and four. When Caribbean Estate build, same thing. What more country club, same thing. So, um, Mango, Mango Walk in Montego Bay are the same thing. You see, the persons in the area won't be able to afford those houses. So it would be the professionals who, in turn, come in and buy the house them. But at the end of the day, I've been saying this in St. Thomas the other day, that, um, you see, even if that happened and nobody in the community not able to buy the house them still, what happened is that due to the fact that they see professionals living in the neighborhood, because people follow, is in the mm -hmm. people follow fashion. So because when they see persons having their nine to five and living a good life, that will prompt more persons to seek jobs and seek opportunities so that they can live good too. Isn't mm -hmm. it? So at least that would be developing the parish. And then those persons would, would move into the community. They would support local businesses in that parish also. So and that really helps people. Otherwise from that, just some outside people are living at the place and the parish now will really, really benefit. You understand? Lady B. Jones, good morning. Thanks for joining. Yeah, Beulah Hall. Sometimes I wonder if I don't have a plan for you because if you have to tell the jerk chicken man, say, well, you can't walk after curfew hours. So, who are going to buy from him? When you go, they're going to buy from him, they're going to lock up you. You see, man? So, that's stupidity. That's it. That it's lowest. You see it? Yeah, man. Yeah, Thunder Rebel. Thank you for that. Thank you for those views. All right. Hey, Wayne Scott, blessings. Thanks for joining and blessings to everyone watching from Southern California. All right. And bless upon yourself. Well, uh, Marlene, that's basically what's going to happen because when they build the scheme, them and them thing that the people them are sent to us can't afford to host them. So, as I said, it's going to be the corporate people, the professionals, the people them where have the money for do it, they want a house to buy in the country, or they want to do it. You see, man? And most of the time, these are the same people who are funding the development of these schemes, you see, because it's a trick to where the upper echelon of the country, them want the land for themselves. And we all know that, you see, man? So everything just seems like, as I'm telling you, I'm confused as to everything we're going to Jamaica right now, you see. Simple Things Outreach Media. Good morning. Thanks for joining. I was expecting you to join me on the live. I'm not sure what happened. Beverly Wallace, good morning. Thanks for joining. Okay, backstage. All right. Yeah, man, blessings. Morning, Alex. Morning, morning, Alex, and the entire elite Jamaica family. Mm -hmm. 
Great. Um, yeah, guys, welcome Dee Brown from Simple Things Outreach Media. She has a very interesting channel. Well, it's Christian based, but it's interesting. And when I'm telling you that, guys, you're supposed to know say, really interesting. All right. So Dee was on um, a live show with Jay Says last night. Very interesting live stream. And uh, we just wish enough to go over there to watch it, rewatch it. And then Jay really needs support also, as I always tell you guys. But anyway, um, the topics they were discussing, it was uh, mostly about YouTube and the stuff you do on YouTube, how to help your channel grow and all of that. All right. So um, I decided that we would start to continue that conversation this morning. Being that B seems like she research YouTube, like when we research it, you know. Because I heard you make some really strong points last night. It's just that show me a type. I notice me full up the chat. Sometimes I say come like me a chat too much, you know. But um, yeah. So the blessings, man, and thanks for joining me. Is it? Alex, um, it's like it's like a dream come true to be here. I mean, this is if there was one YouTuber. One large YouTuber I always wanted to meet in person or to do even before I started on YouTube, it was Alex. And here I, I can't believe <laughs> I wasn't even awake when I saw the text. And I'm like, no, I can't let, let this opportunity pass. I've, it's a blessing, believe me. I feel humbled mm -hmm. that you You're gave welcome. me this, they're giving me this opportunity. Thanks a lot, bro. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. <laughs> Thumbs up. All right. So as I was saying earlier, um, if they are small YouTubers or new YouTubers, I don't like to call anyone small, but all are big people. If they are new YouTubers here and you want to like help to promote your channel, just type YT in the chat and type your channel name so that we can just take a look at your channel and give up one and two pointers. It won't be long. But at least you'll get some important pointers to take away, which can really help you fe, put out, or not even self put out better content, for make your content reach more people. All right? Yeah, man, blessings, everyone. Barbara, Aston, Sean, Clue, Natalie, Cousins. Yeah, man, blessings, man. <laughs> So, uh, D, you're watching on your phone also. It mm -hmm. seems we have, uh, like we have a delayed. Is the audio delayed? No, no, it's not. No, okay, it's not. Okay, 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 okay. I understand. I understand. God, God, blessings. Thanks for joining. No, um, as you were saying last night, D, about um, content, relating to content and how you put across content. Because Middle history, you the religion. And like seriously, I told the artist thing. Educational content as a whole is hard to bring across on a platform like YouTube with so much comedy, so much animal video, so much tragedy of one another world. And if you know, um, we as humans, we have a thing where we tend to fe, 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 fe more go to art. We prefer to see the bad thing because if someone I watch a video, you know, two videos are, are posted, one where one truck, I will go over one cliff. And the next one, which is a charity where somebody helps somebody. Which one do you think people are going to mostly watch? They're going to watch the one with the truck going over the cliff. So in order for we really, really put our content across, the only thing that can help content that's educational to get across good on YouTube would be to put it in a family setting, something that you can actually have a laugh or something that persons can relate to. You know, so that's why I put my content in a vlog format. You understand? And you you put your stuff in a story format where you, you, you actually explain it. So if somebody now wants to sit down and read the Bible, them can come to your channel. I'm really appreciate that, you know? Because we all know reading the Bible, reading any material can be boring. You understand? Reading any material can be boring, but it's oh you 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 actually get it because sometimes listening to the material, it comes across more interesting. Because reading and listening is basically the same thing. But listening to it, your brain creates the images. So it's more interesting sometimes than even watching. So I don't know. Um, maybe you can do it two points, Steve, because it seems like you, you study YouTube like myself. 
<laughs> okay, well, well, Alex, as, as I said, I'm learning from you. I am okay. learning from you, and that's what motivated. Somebody was asking, um, Jada, Jason James was asking, I am simple things in the chat, in the chat, guys. Jason, that's me in the chat. And as Alex said, just by way of promotion, he says, if you're a YouTuber or a small content creator, you can type YT in the chat so that he can check out your channel as well. And we could connect with each other. So I'm um, simple things in the chat. Yes, Alex, uh, the beginning of the story, I mean, you didn't ask me to give the history, but I have to say it because it was from watching. I, I, I was home for a few years taking care of my parents and I, I watch a lot of YouTube channels. I started watching. I'm not because of the um the growth the, the growth of Alex channels a, a channel I won't mention some of the names here while I would on my own channel but I was watching a lot of Jamaican vloggers and I noticed people start vlogging doing pranks that sort of thing and within within a few weeks they they reach the 2k they reach the 1k then they reach the 5k and then they keep growing and some of those people are. I mean, like one particular one just reached 200,000, that sort of thing. And I started, I, I was home during the pandemic and I was just going through my YouTube, just watching stuff. I was actually watching some sermons one evening after my church service. And something came up that said, um, underground tunnel found in St. Thomas, I think it was. And I was like, what on earth? Let me see what this person has to say. And I clicked on it and I started watching and I saw Elite Jamaica, whatever, whatever. And he actually went to the site and was, and then from one to the other, the one with the tombstone thing, Paul Bogle gave, whatever. I stayed up till like three o'clock that morning, just watching wow. Alex's videos. And I said to myself, what well, is this history? History is boring. I did history in high school. I did history at UWI and it's boring. And I'm like, if someone can present history in such a way, that it just grabs you. And I shared with my niece and she was like, whoa, mommy, this channel is interesting. So if somebody can present it in such a history in such a way that it can grab people attention like that, then of course I should be able to present religious education. Well, Bible, let's not say religion, Christianity in such a way that it can grab people as well. So I started out, I didn't have the equipment or anything, but I started out and I kept watching Alex I kept watching others as well. I'm not going to say. I learned a lot from others as well. And there are, like someone asked about you. Um, I saw somebody ask about TubeBuddy up in the in the chat just now. TubeBuddy, VidIQ, all of these professional guys. Um, what a dark one that Alex mentioned last night. A lot of them, I started following them and learning the tips. All right. Yeah, and I, I, I started yeah. learning so much about YouTube. And then I was on, I think, King and Shay and a few people came on my video, like three persons and said they saw me, my comment on King and Shay. So I got linked up with those persons and I realized that they have a little group that do live stream every week. Like one of them would go on each, each day at a particular time. So I became a part of that group by default, right? I didn't join their WhatsApp group really, but we keep supporting each other. And I started learning a lot now from people who right there and then could tell us about it. So that's how I started learning a lot of this stuff. And then I have like Jay, I met Jay now last week on, on one of Alex, from one of Alex live. I saw Alex started going live again. And I said, you know, I always hear him say, join the WhatsApp group. And I was like, but I don't want nobody to, to come spam me with, you know, all that crap. And then when he issued the invitation last week, week before last again, I was one of the first one who contacted him. And then I met JC there. And we did a collab together last week. And then on my channel. And then we did a collab last night on Jay's channel. And when I saw Alex in the chat, I was like, whoa, this is a YouTuber who has made it. He has made it, guys. He has. And if he's willing to come on us, we who don't even reach 1,000 yet. We just have a few hundred. And he's willing to come on and spend the, ever, the entire night, give us tips, take part in the chat, interact with our, our audience. Then that's a humble person. And then this morning, when he said he wanted to feature a, a, a small YouTuber, and both of us asked. And this morning when I saw the text, I was like, 
it's my night off. I'm only getting some sleep, but I had to. So just thank you for that, Alex. Thanks. You're so very welcome, Bon. You're very welcome. All right. So um <laughs> All right, um, I have a very long story as to YouTube. I think I'm going to share this one. I've never done it before. Mm -hmm. I've always thought about doing it in a video format. Now, um, for those of you who have been following my channel for a long time, you know I actually did a surgery on my eyes. That's why I'm wearing the shades because I'm in the left bottom of my eye. I actually just see out on the right eye. I not see out on the left one. No? Anyways, um, coming home from the hospital and they were I'm like, I worry, me, I say, I got blind and not even make no sense, me do not try to live because it don't make no sense, me even try to work, make money or nothing. It don't make no sense, me deal with people because me I got blind, you know? I was so depressed. And um, like, even though me never had as a proper, I start up on YouTube because that's the only thing I did really for that, though. And I start uh, like watch videos, mostly listen to them. And um, I started getting curious as to, because I came across videos which were telling you about YouTubers who were getting paid. I said, like, seriously, people get paid on YouTube? Because <laughs> I tried all of the other stuff, you know, the thing where, like, you share it to somebody, make them add somebody and add somebody and add somebody. Them things don't pay. Peep, none of those things don't pay. Don't, don't try the bingo game, them matter because they're a scam, all right? Just to say. All right, so um, I started to watch Nick Nimmin. All right, that's a YouTube influencer. I start watch video influencers. Um, I started to watch Roberta Blake. I got contact with Roberta Blake. I still never start a channel. All right. Um, I started this the channel that I'm using. The email was actually created in 2016. The channel, the name of the channel was Dark Miracle. Uh, because I'm music, everybody that think for music, you know, we are think for music, that's the best thing people gravitate. Anyway, um, I actually thought about a name. And then, you know, in a them time there, like elite, elite, everybody has said, well, the elite, the elite. I mean, I said, like elite being, elite mean being above the best, you know, the best of the best. So that's how I actually came up with the name Elite Jamaica because Jamaica are like the best in you know, the Caribbean, the Pearl of the Caribbean, all right? Well, that's what, that's my opinion, all right? So me see it. So, um, the channel was named Elite Jamaica, and uh, I never did know what to do on YouTube. The first video made up on YouTube, I tell people how to make video on YouTube, and how, how to get sign up and monetize and everything. And that never go nowhere because I just never know nothing about YouTube. And I can't check out that video, guys. I want big orange sheets, you know, because I couldn't look in at the camera without sheets because I still had, like you would have looked on my eye and she said, I had surgery done. I never really knew. All right. Um, then I did a video. I tried doing a top 10 video, um, top 10 richest Jamaican artist. It never really get no all the views. And I said, like, I really need to know how for the YouTube. Good. So I started doing a lot of research. And I still continue with the top 10 and like videos about Jamaica till I met Creator Fundamentals. That's a YouTube channel. You see me? That's a uh, Dan. I'm, I don't remember his last name. His name is Dan. He's on Facebook and all that. He's willing to help you. He has a show that he goes live every Wednesday evening. He promotes your channel and look on it. He brings it up on the screen so that others can see it and him tell you what to do and what to do. At that time, I had, um, because I'm telling me I do YouTube, I get like subscribers and I did the top 10 Jamaican musicians, which right now is almost at a million views. That one there make my channel really get a lot of subscribers. I was at like 800 subscribers when Creator Fundamentals reviewed my video. And uh, like two days after Creator Fundamentals reviewed my video, I reached like um, about 3,000. I was at 800 and like two days after I reached 3,000, I got 3,005. I got because the person saw the channel and then they got interested. Um, It's still never really a work or if it work because Jamaican channels normally do get a fight. It might sound a way, but Jamaican channels do get a fight. You hardly see a Jamaican channel with a million subscribers unless it's a Vivo or a DJ channel. You understand? So, um, like, I was in St. Thomas. Got, me get one and two more video where it really go up. I have the top, top five Jamaican females, top five richest Jamaican females, which is the only trending video that I ever got on YouTube. 
that video hit a hundred thousand views in just like four hours. You understand? Then I had to remove it and re-upload it, and the next one, the same thing, it come back up. Never got to anybody to get views here because the lady, um, yeah, uh, it's free speech, well, the lawyer, Dorothy McClurkin, she contacted me, said she didn't want her name in the video and all of that, and uh, she was going to file a lawsuit. I referred to the email, to the website that the information came from. I'm going to hear back from them, then like, like, uh, Two years after, when the next video gone up, without even watching the video, they contacted me again, telling me to take down the video. So, like me, I said, but your name is not in the video anymore. Why you really are calm about that? It's like, you know, persons have an ego problem, seeing yourself on YouTube. She have an ego problem, you know? So, um, that video actually cut out her name. So most persons watch that video and say, oh, comes a four people in that video and a top five. Well, that's the explanation, guys. The same thing with the top 10 um, athletes. The same thing happened with uh, Raheem Sterling. You can't use this picture or video or anything. They wanted to sue for that, so I had to remove that. So persons will say, oh, a nine and a top ten. That's the story. So um, anyway, yeah, my mess stop straight from the point. I was in St. Thomas. I was still doing, like, the narrated videos. But then we had visitors at one point, and a whole heap of nice did I make. So I couldn't get from it narrated pieces. So I said, you know, may I go out on the road, but try to vlog. I actually created the Elite Jamaica vlog channel. That's when I created that. I'm going up on the road, I'm going to do one video, I'm going to upload it on that channel. I'm going up on the road, I'm going to do one next one. I may say, like, you know, these videos can get views. So I'm going to do everything on Elite Jamaica and base it on the same content that I've been doing before. The first vlog I actually did on the channel is the one where I went to Georgia. And thanks to Google, I either thanks to Google or thanks to that video, I thanks to someone that was watching. Georgia can actually see the name on the Google Maps now. There wasn't a name for that community. It was just listed on the Trinity Bell. But another video there, if you notice me, I talked to them. I said, like, seriously, the community need to be listed. Anyway, it has a name now. That was the first video. I was trying to find Kapa Wola there, but persons told me that it was eight miles away, which that is so much untrue because it's no more than like two miles. We, I went to the couple hole after that, and that's where I realized that all of the research from me that I do from back then and I got them places, like all of them research they come in play now. So I acquired the map, thanks to Carbon. I, Carbon in the UK acquired a map. That's the, the map done by James Robertson. Not the James Robertson, who is a politician. That map was actually cartographed in uh, 1789 and was finished in 1805. And that map shows all of the plantations, the location of the plantations, the sugar mills, like every single one of them thing there in Jamaica. So I've been working from that and getting the information. We have a lot of historical information about sites, so we can go on like, and on and on, on, on. But the thing is with YouTube, you have to stick to your niche, interact with your subscribers, try as much as you can to interact, even a vlog video, try to talk to your subscribers as if it's a live video. And that's one of the things I noticed. Sometimes persons will be watching one of my vlogs. And because I actually talk to you guys and say, oh, follow me, or round this, or persons will watch it. And it's like, in the comments, it will seem like they think that it's been done, actually, at the moment. They think it's alive. But uh, I don't know. I'm kind of straight off point, don't they? Not really, not really, because when you're in, you answered a lot of questions for me right there and then, because I always wondered how you got the the information. Because let's say I remember the one with the cup of hole as well. I tell you, I watch mm -hmm. all of them. the only videos mm -hmm. I've missed is perhaps like since I got too busy with with my own channel when I started. But I watch all the first ones, the one like with the cup of hole one, and the one with the. I don't remember the great which the name of that great house that is near to the school because I hardly know St. Thomas, but now I know all of those. Okay. I know Georgie. I know I know all of those places, Alex, because okay. of your videos. So the one with the great house that's near to the school, the great house that's almost intact. Like those. And and what the thing is when you're making your video, you're able to show us a map 
of the original great house. Well, you said we must call them slavery plantation and great house. I don't remember what you said we must call them. But you're able to show a map of the actual thing, what it looked like then. And that makes such a big difference. You know, it's like you're connecting history with the present. And I can imagine, I read the comments like on your videos and in your live, and especially the people from St. Thomas, they, it makes them feel so proud. I mean, I am proud to be a Jamaican here and see you show us all those things. I remember the one with the Paul Bogle, and you took us to the cell that Paul Bogle was in, and you show us the remains of the gallows that Paul Bogle was hung on. I mean, those things, even up to university level, you don't see those things in the history book. Your, your history teacher, I mean, I respect them, but they don't even, they, I don't think many of them have seen those things. So right there, it's like, I know, man, it's just awesome the way you present it. You're, you're, you're telling us the story. You're giving us, us the history. You're showing us what it looked like then. And you're connecting the dots by showing us what it is now in real life. I mean, come on. That is like, that is worth a million bucks, a million US, not Jamaican, because that don't value much anymore. But that is worth so much. And you're able to do all of that. And I remember, I mean, everything in a one in a Alex. I remember the one with the top 10 riches, and you explain on one of your Friday morning live what happened. And somebody was saying in the chat up there about ego and money. I don't recall, because we're skipping, a, a lot, we miss a lot of the comments. But someone was saying something about ego and money. I remember I did a vlog with my son when we was going off to college. And when I, I spent so many nights uploading that vlog, and when it uploaded, it's a copyright. And I thought to myself, I'm new to the YouTube business, but I thought to myself, if, you, if you're going to use someone's song in your video, I mean, the copyright right laws are around for years, and they're much bigger than me, but I'm a very logical thinker. If you're going to put someone's song in the background, it's a plane in your car when you're, you're filming your video. So obviously you're not performing it, you're not recording it over anything. Obviously, it can only do more promotion for you, the singer, you, the artist, than it can for, for you, the YouTuber. You're just a little struggling. You're not even a YouTuber yet because you don't reach the first landmark, which is the thousand. And somebody, and you're gonna get a copyright or playing some. So I'm like, you know what? I would never buy that person's music. I'd never... I'd never sing it at church or anywhere because it was gospel music. I'd never support that person in real life, you know, for things like those. Someone was saying about ego when you mentioned the one about the top 10 riches. What are you going to gain from that apart from the views? And yes, you're monetized and you're a big YouTuber. So you're going to get some ad revenue from it. What are you going to gain that is going to take away from that individual? I can understand the whole point of contacting me first. Let me approve so you don't, you don't say anything bad about me, whatever, whatever. But you're going to sue somebody for listing them as the top one of the top 10 richest females in the island. Come on. That's, to me, that's like, you know. So when you, and the thing you mentioned again, it, that video ended up with nine instead of 10. 10. The thing with these things, no. After you put it up, you can go back and edit it. And it's so hard when you think of it. Do I take down this video which has the most views or because of the one person or do I leave it there? You can't really go back and do it over because even if you do it over and re-upload it, you lose all of the views and in your case, the ad revenues. And it's just the hard work going down the drain. So I understand that. The other thing again, um, Alex, everything you know one, because people were mentioning about your humility up the top. And I remember when you said, it was you who made me know that there was money in you too. I didn't know people were doing it for money. I thought people were just doing it for the fun and for getting their message across. And when you mentioned your first check, I was like, what is monetized? I never heard the word monetized before. I mean, I know that it must come from money, but I've never heard that word before. What that mean? Whatever. And when you explain about your first check, I'm like, oh, so there's money in it. And this, you were doing it all along. Without even getting the money, you understand that sort of thing. So that goes to show that was a strike for you in my book, because that goes to show that you weren't with it, in it for the money. And that's part of the thing too. For other small YouTubers like myself, what I've noticed from a lot of the people who I rub shoulders with on YouTube, if, if it's the money that is driving you, 
your channel is going to be thank you, thank you, because people are mm -hmm. not. You know, if it's the money that's driving you, don't do it. Just not do it. Don't do it for the money. If for the money alone you do it for, your content not go right, your things not go proper, your things not go have a buzz. It just, you understand? Do it for the content and for the love of what you're doing and for the, the audience, for how you want to impact your audience, as Jay was saying on his live last night. All right. Um, God, God, God just touched a point about um, copyrighted material. And as you were saying about copyrighted songs, um, it's not don't vex with a person. Say, if your friend's song and you put it another thing on, like it copyright, you can still sing it at church because you know what? It's not the artist's fault. It's the company which they're assigned to. They're assigned to a copyright company. So they, it's just like the algorithm of YouTube. That company, as uh, the algorithm is all over all over Google, so once that song is played anywhere on any platform, it will automatically send uh, like a red flag and it will automatically send you a strike. All right? That if it's on Facebook, the same thing if it's on YouTube, YouTube does copyright strike or copyright claims. So what you would do, if that's someone you can, who you can contact, you contact them and let them know that you're actually playing a song for them and they can clear that. Otherwise, from that, if you want to use the song, you use like, I would have to show you that, uh, like practically, you use like a player, like two lines, clip it, clip off on like a piece, play it again, clip it, clip off on like a piece, play it again, so you can actually play the song. Yeah. Otherwise, from that, don't yeah. play. The don't entire play song. Than, yes, right. don't play more than two. seconds, seconds like no more, I think, and I don't want to you say it's wrong seconds. information for the record. But I think Not it's no more than 30 seconds, right? Uh, for like, yeah, sorry, yeah, about 30 seconds. Maybe not yeah. so much. Some of them oh. have to really use a little bit. Like all Bob Marley songs, as as them, you know, eh, them know about Bob Marley. You know, <laughs> so, uh, so you got to be careful with songs like those. But then uh, if you really, if you look for songs on YouTube, you can look for the same artist song on YouTube, go up on a channel, scroll down and then you will see whether or not it's copyrighted who, which company manages such song if there isn't anything like that under that video simply means that that song is not copyrighted because once it's copyrighted off you underneath the video all right so you can choose songs to you another thing youtube doesn't provide music for videos youtube of all library of music for videos you understand so persons who didn't know that here yeah, youtube has a very large library for music to use in your videos. Another thing you can do, you can download a video order. That's a app which you can download from YouTube, an app which allows you to download from YouTube. You can actually go on, you type NCS, NCS songs for videos, that is non-copyrighted songs for videos, and uh, you will get a whole lot of songs right there, and then you can just download the audio, and those can be used in your videos. Um, you see, with, I actually took almost two and a half years to really get monetized. You understand? I never had a run down that. And I reached I reach far over the mark where I could have monetized before me even realized I'm going to monetize. You know? So I just one of them things that it's not about the money. People people literally cost me to set up people. You're an idiot. You're not set up the people. Well, I set up the PayPal, but it's not activated all now, same way, you know, because it's not about that. You see, um, putting the content out there, doing good for people, if good is supposed to happen for me, it will happen, whether I have a PayPal or not, all right? So, um, and PayPal sometimes involves a lot of fraud, because too much people depend on the platform, you don't even know who is who, you know? So, uh, one of them things there. But, D, uh, what, like... Last night I asked this question, I'm going to ask you again, because I would like this audience to actually get that feedback. Um, what do you, what would you say is your, like, your ultimate goal on the YouTube platform? Okay, Alex, before we get to that, um, Cassandra was asking about SoundCloud, if you could use SoundCloud music and... And uh, Marshalline says she's late, so could you? She's a bit lost because she's late, so could, if, could you catch her up to speed? 
And could you spell the video for those of us small YouTube YouTubers, please? Could you spell the video? Okay, I'm gonna write that. I'm gonna write that in the comments. Okay. Yeah, that's the name of the app, and it actually allows you to download a music video, or you can this just download the audio to the song. Okay, good. Mm -hmm. let, me just, let me just add it. I have my little YouTube book, which someone suggested on their channel, that we should yeah, all keep to keep records. So this is where I have all my little notes. So that, let me just make note of that before. Yes. Okay. So I, I wrote it, but I spelled it wrong. Video there. Yeah, so you asked about my ultimate goal on, on YouTube, just as, as, as I said about you and the history, right? A lot of people didn't know about St. Thomas. There's, a, there's someone in the, in the chat, R. Thomas, say he has been to all the 13 parishes, but he has never been to St. Thomas. So I say, and your name is Thomas. <laughs> the thing with St. Thomas, and I know most of you, your audience is from St. Thomas. But the thing with St. Thomas, especially right now, with the, the, the 2000 highway project, it doesn't go through St. Thomas. And I'm not going to go into politics because I, I can't relate. I'm from Clarendon, so if you talk about Clarendon, I can tell you more about Clarendon. You're from St. Thomas. Your audience is from St. Thomas, so I can't tell you about St. Thomas. But the thing with St. Thomas and the, and the 2000 Highway project for the rest of us, St. Thomas is sort of cut off because you go to Kingston and St. Andrew, right? And you can go around the island. You can go through St. Mary if you're coming from the east to go to Portland. So if you don't have to go to St. Thomas, a lot of Jamaicans don't really go to St. Thomas. Mm -hmm. And it is such a beautiful mm -hmm. parish with so much to offer. So, so St. Thomas, I, I've, been, I've been down because I'm, I'm, I'm not living in Jamaica right now. I've been down a few times and we love to do around the island trip. But in these past few years, I have not. I've been to all the parishes. I haven't been to St. Thomas since I'm living here. And the thing with St. Thomas if we want to go to St. Thomas, we're just going to do St. Thomas alone. You understand? Because to go all the way around and say you want to go to Mobi and the Grill as well, it, we, you can, we can't really do that in a day. So a St. Thomas trip is a St. Thomas trip. So just as how you use history, and here you say you're a history teacher, because I'm like, how oh, does he present his thing so well? Where no, I'm, 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 natural, I'm natural born history teacher. I've, I, I've been a history teacher like a teacher with teaching a school or anything like that. I think you teach the history of high school. Mm -hmm. I'm like, you must teach in the, at the school or the college. Mm -hmm. Oh, wow, that is so impressive, mm -hmm. Alex. That is so mm -hmm. impressive, right? So, 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 um, Ras Diagla, I wonder if you're from Clarendon. I have some Diagla over my side. General, I have gained more knowledge about Jamaica from you than I have done from my own family. Believe, you are very appreciated in UK and beyond. Yes, Diagla, from I've learned from my history books, the making of the West Indies, all these history books. I don't learn as much about Jamaica and St. Thomas in particular as I've learned from Alex. I thought you were a history teacher. It's a natural born history teacher. That's really your gift. So you asked what's my, the ultimate goal for my channel is just the the way you're able to connect history particular or dark you say on your in your videos you don't use certain terms so i'm not going to use them either our dark past has become our rich our rich future right and the way you have promoted it that for me now when i see i have a lot of ruins over my parish by the way when we come again as i said before i'd love for you to come ex help us to explore them from now on, when I see a slavery wall, we just we have them over our side in Clarendon. I, we just walk past them every day like nothing. But from when I was a child, I was always interested and intrigued by them. From now on, every time I see a slavery wall, it's going to have a different meaning to me. You understand? Because of the way you were able to connect in my own head what all of that meant back then and how much we should appreciate it now. So for my channel, as you explained at the start when you were introducing me, it's mainly Bible-based people because I'm a Christian. I'm a Seventh-day Adventist. And I noticed that a lot of people, Alex mentioned that he, he used to go to the Kingdom Hall. But know everything about you, you know, Alex, with your grandfather, with your grandfather, right? Mm -hmm. <laughs> yes. 
I have a mm -hmm. lot of friends who were Jehovah Witnesses and I have a great appreciation for them. The thing is, a lot of us grew up in Christian families, in Jamaica in particular, all right? And the Bible is there. You read a psalm when you feel sick. You, you read a psalm in the morning if you're going to the embassy and uh, or you're going to the doctor. You understand? You read a psalm for encouragement. And that's just only, you know that there's a God and you believe in God and you call on him and you maybe even pray every morning. But there is so much in the Bible that we have to just like how Alex dig deep for the history and connect it in our heads. There's so much in the Bible that we have to dig deep for. But guess what? Hey, it's right around us. If there's a bird flying out sky, outside, it's right around us. The stars in the sky at night, they're all in the Bible. You understand? The foods, I have a, his, a, a, a video about healing herbs, Jamaican healing herbs. The, 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 the bush that grew in our yard that we can use, they're in the Bible. I mean, not all of them are there by name because they perhaps weren't there when mm -hmm. the Bible writers mm -hmm. were writing. But they are there in the Bible. Their health benefits are mentioned in the Bible. You know, a lot of the things I have one about Jamaican saints straight out of the Bible. There are some things that we say back home, like your belly bottom about you. Did we know that that was in the Bible? Right? The, 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 my loins ached. Your belly bottom about you. You understand? <laughs> it's right there in the Bible. But a lot of people don't see it, won't see it because they see the Bible as something that, you know, even some in some religions, some denominations, only the bishop or the priest read to you that, no, everything. The Bible is not a part of the universe. The universe is a part of the Bible. So I'm hoping by my channel to be able to present the Bible in such a way that it becomes so much easier for people to understand, uh, understand and appreciate that they start reading it for themselves with the hope of changing their lives. I know, I don't know, a lot of Jamaicans don't talk about Jesus or Christ or salvation anymore. So I don't know how far to take that on your channel since this is not my platform. But the ultimate hope is that it will draw people closer to Christ, change their lives. Even if salvation is not your hope, you know, but just by understanding and appreciating and reading the things in the Bible and putting them into practice, it will change our lives. Crime, family life, education, relationships, you know, just the day-to-day -day struggles we go through, it will change our lives. So that really is my ultimate goal. Not the money, not to be monetized, but I love the numbers because the more the numbers, it increases your platform and the more YouTube pushes out your video. So others, the man in Timbuktu, the man in China, the man in Papua New Guinea will be able to see your videos. So that's my ultimate goal. All right, um, you're saying uh, about religion. Mm -hmm. You see, religion is basically history. You know that, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because... Um, yes. When reading the Bible, we're actually... The Bible is actually a history book. It's a book of instructions. It's a book of laws. It's a book of information. It's everything in one book. You mm -hmm. understand so um, I have nothing against you discussing religion because religion actually needs history. History yes, needs religion. Yes. Um, the other way around. You know, so um, I think you really are doing a good, I think you, you're in a good niche because not everyone, there are Christians who do other videos on YouTube because they don't want to do religion because they know the feedback now is strong. But then mm -hmm. it's up to all because there are religious channels on YouTube with over a million subscribers. You know, especially in the states. So, um, I like the I like the form that your channel is under, and uh, I know that your channel will grow. You understand? Because the thing is, you're not. It's not like you're not a Christian and doing a Christian channel. You're actually speaking from personal experience and from personal knowledge and from stuff that you read on a daily basis. You have a knowledge of religion, right? So, I really appreciate it. I'm going to have no problem with... Okay, okay. Me. I just I just want to follow the protocol because most of people don't talk... Re not religion, Christianity. Because I don't, people don't have a, a problem talking about some other religions. But a lot of Jamaicans, we get too educated and like we grow up God. 
So we don't talk about God anymore. The only time that I actually have a problem with religious discussions that's in the group, the WhatsApp group. Okay, you know, okay. if, one person, if one person posts, I, have a, um, I don't normally like, like to get like religious posts, racist posts, or you know, violence and stuff like that. Because once it's posted once, then the whole day are the same thing on the post. You know, yeah, and persons yeah. can be really extra sometimes when it comes to stuff like that. I try to keep it on a level where it's just like formal discussions about history. We can talk about religion. Not that we don't talk about religion. We can talk about religion. But the thing that I had a problem with, it's the like the long songs, the long prayers. And if everyone keeps posting that their persons <laughs> who now who now have no space left on them phone, I've got a lot of space, you know. But there are persons who now have no space because that used to happen to me too. You know? Mm-hmm. Yes, yes. Um, um there are a few comments in the in the chat that I'd like to um just address because uh, someone said then again without slavery there would be there would not be European religion religion to Jamaican black people. Um Kevin, could you watch my video? Could you watch my video the it's a Bible, a white man's book. Please, Kevin, watch that. That addresses that. I like that Jamaican got Christianity through slavery. Could you watch my video, um, Kevin? It's a Bible, a white man's book. That's all I have to say in response. But as I said before, we're not talking about religion, meaning Christianity or Islam or Buddhism or anything. I was just mentioning, as I said, God, a Christ-like life, right? That's what I'm referring to. Your religion is who you are. We are all spiritual beings. Thanks, God. Thanks for that. Um, just a second. Just let me address up here. Um, Edith, was it Edith who said that she watched my video about David and Uriah? Edith, thanks, Uriah. Thanks, Dave. Thanks for that, Edith. And someone said about, yeah, the herb channel. I'm not a herb channel. I just, I just have a mixture of things that goes to show you how much you understand to make the, the the Bible more relevant and to address like some of the comments that are right here. If you if you watch some of my videos, it will be addressed. So that's not the road I'm going because that's not what um, Alex invited us here for. So that's not the road that I'm going. But actually, just about all those concerns, I address them in my video because if we really spend some time to dig a bit deeper, all those questions would be answered. So so Garth. Could you do that for me? Thanks. Okay. Josephine, um, thank you, Alex, for your platform. It's a real learning experience. I will look up simple things out reads. Thanks, Josephine. All right. Uh, what I'm going to do, I want to... Amen, Julie. I'm going to take a look at uh, this channel. Where is it? Yeah, Tara J's blogs and the dialogues. Yeah, Tara, I invited her here. She has a very interesting um discussion channel. Her channel is about discussion, but about things that are relevant to our everyday life. Things okay. that we often don't talk about, like family life, relationships. You know, a lot of things that we really don't address. Child abuse, things that we really don't address. We don't sit down and talk about enough. So th- those are those are right. That's what her 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 message is. Mor- right. Morning, Maureen. For anyone who's wondering, I'm Simple Things Outreach Media in the chat. Give me one second. I'll get my charger. Okay. For anyone who's wondering, I'm Simple Things Outreach Media in the chat. Yes. So as Alex was saying, guys, if 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 for those of us who are small small content creators. If it's just whatever our niche is, whatever our passion is, it can work. And Alex is proving that to us, that it can work. As I, he said, I thought he was a history teacher when he said history. But he said natural born history teacher, meaning he has a talent for that. So whatever our message is. But, but there are certain things that we just, we learn a lot of the things as we go along. And if you're in the chat and you haven't started yet and you want to start, start with what you have. Don't let every, anybody tell you, oh, you don't have a good equipment. You don't have this. You have to start somewhere. And mo- a lot of the times you won't really learn 
you understand if you're going from from St. Thomas to 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 Kingston if if you don't you won't know if somebody tell us that the road block out of harbor view you'll believe that the road block out of harbor view but if you never see a road block yet and you don't actually start the journey and reach out to harbor view how will you know what a road block is and how to get around it you understand so if we don't start the journey whatever the obstacles are ahead a lot of people who tell us about the obstacles you know a lot of pessimistic people are ready to tell you about the obstacles they've never been on that journey but they'll tell you all the obstacles in the world to discourage you and a lot of people are too easily discouraged you understand but for me personally the more you show me the obstacles is the more i'm gonna rise above them you understand so i may grow at a slower pace than some because my message is different my theme is different but i don't mind i'm for me it's not the money I only need the numbers because the numbers have to push out my message. Because YouTube, when you get monetized, you know, automatically your 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 YouTube push out your videos more than before because now you're earning them revenue. So of course they're gonna promote you. So the pace at which I grow is is God determined for me. Is I'm the, I'm not the one who determined that. All right. So I'm not gonna run ahead and go on all these Filipino and African lives and gain the sub for sub thing because they're not there to support you. Sub for sub with those Jamaican channels, are, is, that's fine because they're the ones who are coming back to support you. But but if it's just, you know, just to get the numbers and have, and um, overlook the content, overlook the, the interaction, because there's no point you having a thousand odd subscribers when one of you, the, the, the biggest video you have only have 200 odd views. Come on, then something is wrong right there. Where's the engagement? Where's the interaction? So obviously my content wouldn't be grabbing anyone. Like for me, I have videos with 1,000 odd views. I only have 500 odd subscribers. No, for a long time, I only had 200 odd, but I was getting the views. Also, if you're getting the views, but not the subscribers, then you also have to look at what it is. But with my content, people will watch, They'll text me, they'll message me, they'll tell people who know me, my family members, the feedback. Oh, she has some good content. I didn't know this, I didn't know that. But they don't want to subscribe because they don't want to identify that with anything that is Bible-based. So that's sort, of, that's sort of the thing as well, right? If you tell people about a history channel, if they don't really have a love for history and you tell them Alex is a history channel, they'll tell you, oh, that's boring. But just show them one of his videos and 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 they'll be hooked because when they think of history they're thinking about the boring thing with the dates and the, and the dead people that's what i always say history is about dead people but come on like the bible is rich with history there are so many things in history that i could show you right in the bible you would be amazed so history is an integral part of our lives what alex said as alex said it's the way you present it true as you were saying earlier when you started about um equipment i last night we were discussing this also there are persons i introduce a lot of persons to youtube now the first excuse is that i'm not on a camera i'm not on a computer you don't need a camera or a computer if you need a once you have a proper cell phone all uh, if your picture quality kind of off you see if the audio is good make mm -hmm. videos create videos all right because most of the time it's the audio that counts audio is king on youtube so when the picture quality kind of off, create videos. That's the only way you can move forward. It's not about saying you're going to start. It's about getting up and starting at the same time. Exactly. See you know, the three Gs, get a goal, get a plan, and get up off your ASS. You know, that's the three Gs. <laughs> and that can be a better way. Get a goal, get a plan, and get up off your ass. Yeah, that works. Mm -hmm. That works for me. So um, it's... I actually made a promise to my subscribers. And that was when I had like a thousand or two thousand subscribers. Mm -hmm. And I think if you guys watch all of my videos, or most of my videos, you will see me say this that I will not be using any fancy equipment. I will only be using my cell phone to create the videos. I would have to record or to edit. And I only use my cell phone to create my videos. Me use a laptop, you know, like if I'm doing a narrated video. And I have a script that I've written. I use yeah. my laptop to generate that script on the screen so that we can actually record. We use my laptop to like create 
come nails, just in case that like, I use the phone, I download something on the phone, basically use the laptop for the thumbnail. Otherwise, from that, it's most of the research that I do with a laptop or Apple Live. Mm-hmm. Put it on somebody's channel, like oh, when I'm done, I just go on simple things, outreach media, for that year, I just put it on your channel and let me play. You know? That's basically what I do sometimes with the laptop. Most of the time, I use my phone because I actually see the phone screen better because the pixel of the TV or the monitor on the computer screen really mm-hmm. no it not read my eye. When I see the thing going on the screen, proper life when we see. Oh, yeah. You understand? So that's that, that, that's me. You mentioned about um running your laptop on that's what I do as well. As soon as I subscribe to someone's channel, I just I, I just like bring up bring them up on my laptop and let it play back to back. Mm-hmm. I mean, mm-hmm. they're like when I came up on your channel, I, I wouldn't just run it because your things are things that I have to see. We have to see. You understand? So I wouldn't just listen. But some some channels are, are like Tara, you can just listen because it's it's a dialogue, right? So you can just listen. And and some others, you know, you could just listen. But I'll just leave them running. I just let it play and let it let it and just listen in. And also because some of most of a lot of my subscribers are small YouTubers, small content creators, and they need to watch hours. So also do that to support them as well. Okay, okay, true. Let me just touch one point. Uh, Tara J's blogs and dialogues. Um, I'm looking here at your channel. And um, I'm going to look for your social blade stats and stuff like that. And yes, some pointers. As I have, have access to them. Yeah? Yes. Yeah, YouTube, social blade provides you information as to the channel, the views, how much money the channel make, and all of that. You know, so um, yeah. Could you tell us a bit about the social blade? Because I heard about it, and KK official mentioned it. She does like growth stream for small YouTubers. She's a, a a small YouTuber herself, Jamaican YouTuber. Could you just tell us a bit about social blade, and and do you have to social have blade. community to use it? All right, no, you don't have to have a community. Social blade is a website. It actually tells you about your channel. However, you can search for other channels and uh, you will see like how much subscribers per week, how much money they will make, everything about that channel. You can compare to your channel, see where you're going wrong, where you're mm-hmm. right. You know, um, it's about statistics, you know? So I'm, I'm going to yeah. add it to my, my YouTube book. Let me make a yeah. note of it. So. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, for real. Um, yeah, Tara J, one point I want to make clear to you, though. Um, you need thumbnails, all right? I don't know how much clear I've put that. You need thumbnails. You have to put thumbnails on your videos because that is what really appeal. You see, when I go to my YouTube, you know, we see a whole lot of content from our eye. But the thumbnail is what stands out. Before audio can be king, the thumbnail is what stands out to let someone click on your video, you know? The thumbnail can put you on and click on it. The, 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 the picture quality kind of messy, are, you know, but the audio got to be king. With your thumbnail, you have to have a thumbnail which describe exactly what I want in the video, what to expect, you know. Um, Could I say something, Alex, um, for, mm-hmm. for, for Tara? If you go, Tara, if you go on VidIQ, are, 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 if you go on VidIQ, TubeBuddy and those, they're big on thumbnails. That's how I learned about thumbnails. I was saying it on Jay's Live last night. Um, thanks, Gar. Thanks, um, um, Edith and others. Thanks a lot, guys, for checking me out. Simple Things Outreach Media, for those of you who are wondering, who is that lady? About 10 people asking, who is that lady? Simple Things Outreach Media, and I'm honored to be a guest, uh, Alex's guest. Yes. For anyone who is a small content creator, it was on those, like VidIQ, TubeBuddy, the other guy you keep mentioning, the dark, the, the dark guy, the black American guy. I forgot his name. They are big on thumbnails, and they give a lot of advice, a lot mm-hmm. of information. That's Roberta Blake. Roberta Blake, right. A lot of guys yeah, like yeah. those. And and mm-hmm. the thing is, when I started, I didn't know much about thumbnails. I used to just put something over it. I didn't even know how to put it on. I use Kinemaster. I don't know what others use. I use Kinemaster, but the thing with Kinemaster mm-hmm. is that if you don't have the subscription, they're going to, well, any, any app at all, the watermark is going to be there. 
And to be honest, people, I saw some of Alex's video at the start with the Kinemaster watermark. So I knew he was using it. But to be honest, guys, mm -hmm. people not going to be interested in your, in your video if you have if you have the watermark up here. People going to know how you invest in your own self. So if you're serious about it, guys, get the subscription for your best app that you use. Get the subscription so that they can remove the watermark. But all these guys, Roberta Blake, VidIQ, TubeBuddy, these people, they tell us about thumbnails. And I didn't know about it. And after I used to spend hours on these people learning and, and, and improving. I went back and rebranded. Like I have a video about... Um, about it was just a vlog I did one year. I came down with my my family. We were going across Flatbridge when the rain was falling and the river come down. And we were just talking and I just took out my camera and filmed it. And that was the first video I, I put up. But from looking at it, people, even with the name, people see, people read. But the picture is worth a thousand words more than the title. The title is good for the search, because if people are gonna search, they're gonna type in Flatbridge. And my video might come up. But as they see Flatbridge, they see Jamaica, they see the Jamaica flag, whatever. I went back, I had like maybe 400 views and I went back and rebranded it, created a thumbnail, put it on, put the Jamaican flag, guys, on your thumbnail. If you're doing Jamaican style videos, somebody mentioned, was it God that mentioned herbs, foods, history, that sort of thing. Um, if you have those, anybody will, will watch it. A lot of people will watch it. Put the Jamaican flag on it, even if the name is not there. As people say, especially people abroad, as soon as they see that Jamaican flag, they're going to click on your video. So thumbnails are a big thing, a big thing. I went back and rebranded it, and within weeks, it was a thousand odd views. You understand? So mm -hmm. even if you're just learning about thumbnails, you can go back to your videos on, on, in, in YouTube studio itself, and they give you a chance to upload a thumbnail, uh, a custom thumbnail, upload a thumbnail, and rebrand. You know, um, as you were saying about Hidden Master R, uh, I don't know, I always I think I might pronunciation wrong, but I call it Kind Master. Mm -hmm. And I'm always like Hidden Master. Some people say Kind Master, but anyway. Yes, um, yes. That's the important point, anyway. I was using, I still use Kind Master. Don't tell the video I made yesterday, a Kind Master. Oh, okay. but I use it and use it and use it until one day I get an email and the Watermark gone. They actually gave me it free. I got it free. But, are you serious? Yeah. Because guess what? No, guess what? No, with with That's seventy odd thousand subscribers, people. Alex. I'm sorry, Alex. Yes. With seventy odd thousand subscri subscribers, you know how much ads they get from your videos. You you see? That's why they give it to you for free. Because you have seventy thousand okay. seventy odd thousand subscribers. Seeing the 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 kind master kinemaster logo every day, that's a, a big a big ad for them. So that's, that's why they give you free. <laughs> they actually got it free, so um I still do use it. I the only app me use um me use what you use for thumbnails. I use Canva for thumbnails. Okay. You familiar with Canva? No, I've heard about it, but I've never used it. There are okay. a lot of um there are a lot of apps and some of them are free, but I don't want to use the watermark ones already. I just I subscribe to the Cinemaster, so that's what I use. Those that I'm telling you about are actually free. Canva is free. Um you've got YouTube spell Studio, it, right? Spell it for us. Spell, spell it for us, please. C A N V A. Okay, okay, yes, yes, I've heard about it. And uh You've got you have you have a uh, YouTube studio because you have to have that running a YouTube channel. Mm -hmm. That's an app, YouTube Studio. Um, I would suggest you get Morning Fame also. Morning Fame. I've never Morning. heard about that one. Okay, you use a laptop. Yeah, I use a laptop, but I don't. I is I use a get laptop it. just to upload, but I make my videos on my phone. Okay, get the Chrome extension for TubeBuddy and the Social Blade on your Chrome on your laptop. With that, you can see exactly what's going on with your channel. Oh, you know right. why I, 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 I tried to get the extension for the Kinemaster before, 
and it crashed it it crashed my laptop and erased everything no, so i didn't know that's right put in any money again there isn't, there isn't a there isn't a program for desktop for kinemaster it's just for oh. android okay okay oh that's why okay it's just for Android. So um, these apps that I'm actually telling to you about, these are apps that help you to run your YouTube channel. Uh, here we have to do too. All right. It's not just you and a peeps. I'm just I'm not just referring to to D. I'm referring to like everybody where yes. I watch. You see, um, with the YouTube, you need for you know, Mister. Just make a point and it slipped me, like. Let me just say again. <laughs> uh, but I think about so many things. It just slipped me just now. You, had um, over, you think about which, what you're going to excavate next. <laughs> no, no. Marshall, really. thanks. I said, I said Alex had 70,000 um, subscribers, but it's 90,000. Sorry, Marshall. There are, there are a few. Um, somebody Come was in. asking you about, can you, Kevin asked, can you make a decent wage from just YouTube blogging? You know, um, Kevin know that. Kevin just uh, make trouble because on YouTube, the oh, most okay. videos that are shown on YouTube are the most search entry YouTube get enough. You know, how much do you make on YouTube? How much does YouTube pay? For real? So, um, Kevin, yes, you can. But in a Jamaica, you have to have it hard, bro. You see me? There are persons making over 40 million US per month. And it's not just me I said that. Because <laughs> that's going to sound like we are too much. The people mm -hmm. make up for YouTube. But um, check a channel like PewDiePie. PewDiePie has over, like, you know, over 100 million subscribers right now. He has deals with Wall Street, with uh, Disney, with, um, you have know, deal with some other company. And if you can, you can also check his revenue on Social Blade. And YouTube revenue has him at 42 point something million dollar per month. So you know him again. In the clear, he might get like $35 million per month. And this guy lives in Switzerland now, isn't it? Mm -hmm. There are persons making, um, you've got the, 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 the Logan Paul and the Jake Paul. Logan Paul actually bought a Ferrari in one of his videos and uh, destroyed it with a sledgehammer in that video. And the views that he made, that he got from that video, he actually purchased the car again and mashed it up again. The videos are on his channel. So there are persons all over the world who make oh, I never these heard of him. Movies. I never heard of him. Yeah, they're influencers, Jake Paul, Logan Paul, they are vloggers. You know, um, for me to really reach a bigger audience, I learned from American vloggers, American YouTubers, because they're more on point. They are more familiar with the, with, with the platform. So they know how to reach the audience. And if you can create content similar to an American YouTuber, then you will get exposed to the North American audience. And you know that one. You know, because it's hard to break into the North American market. You see. And as we yes. the last night, That's what I wanted to ask you about. Yes. Can you tell us what you were saying about um small ja um, Jamaican YouTubers getting a fight? Yeah, may I get to that? You oh, see, okay. in Jamaica, small YouTubers, um, we, there are no Jamaican YouTubers with, like, there are seldom any Jamaican YouTubers or Caribbean YouTubers with over a million. I say over two million subscribers, unless mm -hmm. it's a music channel or a Vivo channel, which these channels are, you actually pay YouTube when it comes to Vivo and them channel them. I know them really pay you. All right, it's for promotion. So we, you will always get a lot of views. However, you see, um, what the point I was trying to make was I was speaking about this last night. Why we are really getting a fight with Super Chat and stuff like that. Yeah. Well, it's not a lot of serious YouTubers coming out of the Caribbean. It's not a good market reach. It's not a valuable market reach for them at the moment. So they're not going to allow to get that yet until... Okay. That is why I was, I was saying last night that we need a, U, a Jamaican YouTube forum where all YouTubers in Jamaica and can, uh, in Jamaica can actually come together and discuss okay. points. Because every other major UK have YouTube forum, America have YouTube forum, them keep them thing every month. So that anything fiat we can write a letter coming from the Jamaica YouTube forum, write a letter directly to Google. And we can we can we can 
like we we to call it a uh, request certain services. You understand? Because if they are not seeing serious YouTubers out of the Caribbean, if they don't have a big market reach in the Caribbean, they're not going to really involve that. And that is why there are some countries which still can't get monetized because they don't see a big market reach. You understand? All right. You see, Google is the company where actually run the world. And we all know that. Now, may I show you one main aspect of the thing why I'm even said that. Mm-hmm. Ever since, as of um, November, Google is gonna said they're gonna stop paying through Western Union. I uh, couldn't pay through Western Union, you know. All right. So um them say they might give you eight months, we actually transfer to a bank account. Mm-hmm. Every single bank where you have gonna have where I go do business with Google, they have to go make themselves able to facilitate these transfers. Because it's not it's not gonna be a Jamaican account or a US account. They might be able to have like a universal account or so. Let me say universal account, an account that is accessible anywhere in the world, accessible to them and accessible to you. And right now, what they're saying is that they are in that's what they're doing. They are get reaching out to the banks in the third world countries so that they can get themselves in order for the new system so that they can actually start the vloggers or YouTubers per se through the bank because it's one of mm-hmm. You know, Google are one of the leading business right now. All right. And I can't tell anyone, hey, I don't make no whole money in a piece. Don't get me wrong. But I can't tell anybody this. Google are one of the best paying platform. All right. And uh, it may not go up in a one year, two year, three year. But trust me, if you continue, you will see a way through. I'm not going to tell anybody some of us. I'm see my way through. You understand? Okay. YouTube was what made me So, so it pays off. The hard work pays off. The hard work um, pays yeah. off. Yes. But one of the things you were saying about that, no, no, Kevin, that hear me. I was talking to Kevin in the chat, so no me call it Kevin. <laughs> Alex, is yeah. maybe wouldn't you say it's a result of the, the scamming and the and the and the fragile um financial um atmosphere where we have a Jamaica? Uh no. You know, oh, okay. I was wondering, really, you know, you know, you know, really look on them thing there because, mm-hmm. um, what happened? All right, the only thing when persons because this is all about what persons say, oh, Western Union asked much question, got you scamming this, that, that, that one bag of thing. Example if Ouch. someone sends me money through Western Union and they send a receipt to me by WhatsApp, and my god, the Western Union, I give them a phone with the receipt where they can see that I know that person, no questions are asked. Western Union is a company and they have to respect for them. They have to respect. They, they have to, they have to um, take care of them, 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 them safety. They have to respect the America's safety and all of that. They have to ensure it's a fraud not go through them system. Okay. So if you are coming, you're filling out a form and all of that, and you're going, at, they might ask you a question that as to who it come from, why you get the money, all of that, keep everything out of which that is all right because they have to do that. You understand? Even when you have your own money in the bank, you got the bank asks a lot of questions just for your own money. So persons will say that, and it is taken out of proportion to say that, well, because of scamming and things are going on in Jamaica, uh, Western Union now going to do this, Adam now going to do that. It's not about that. All right? uh, the major companies, they don't really recognize them little thing they were going As I said earlier, them said they're not eating bread. So they're not business if it raises. It's not they are not affected by the whole situation, so they don't care about that situation. So on a, on a that, it's about um they are they're trying to get everything under one banking system where they don't have to pay people through Western Union, through PayPal, through all over the place. All right, they're trying to get it under one banking system. And another thing, Western unions in some Caribbean countries then complain because. It's not nice to see somebody go on Western Union you know, collect four or five million dollars in a one transfer. You understand? Yeah. Yes. And it's a, it's not a domestic transfer, it's a business transfer. Them can ask you for your phone number because there's no phone number for Google. And them like to do that. What is the phone number? Them okay. can ask you. The name is Google LLC. Them not asking a person name. So it, it really is a problem for third world countries which um like in the morning, then we get like one ten or one twelve million dollar for each Western Union because Western Union float big in the more time all fifteen million dollars some small branch get. You understand? But at the end of the day, if three YouTubers go on one branch go collect their money from the twenty first, they're gonna be broke. 
if a three good YouTuber, which I don't think nobody in Jamaica really collects much money still, unless rapper crapper come to Jamaica. <laughs> <laughs> So look yeah. here, so look here, Alex. So look here, Alex. So no, we need yeah. the business ahead. It's in the chat. As you were saying, um, come together and form uh I don't I don't know what you would call it in this case. But so no, we must have some some business people, some financial financiers in the chat. Some of your subscribers must be some financiers who can come together then and not their head together and come up with one financial platform. Yeah. You're Where actually speaking can with them. Handle. Sorry? You're actually speaking with them at the moment. That is it. That can handle mm -hmm. this. So you have just one entity that all mm -hmm. YouTubers, mm -hmm. when you get monetized, all Jamaican YouTubers would register with that entity. It would be more like a partnership program. Just like yes. we have the YouTube partner where they might have to take one, uh, uh, 10 cents out of every dollar or whatever. As their as their way of making the money, their money, and everybody's pay just go through that one platform, and you have your bank account with them, and they do di direct deposit. I mean, men are good with business, but straight off the bat, something like that just came to me that, you know. But then again, with all the scamming and the corruption, maybe some people uh, exploit it. I don't know, I don't know, but maybe that could work. An idea for all the business people out there, right? No, especially since everything is online. Alex, somebody was asking about the... I didn't know about it, so I have to... Way up top, somebody was asking about the... The grave or the lady with the chain that comes up once okay. a year. Something like that. Mother Pretty. That's the grave of Mother Pretty. Well, I haven't... As I said yesterday, I haven't gotten a call as yet. Then I'm going to call me. When the chain come up, when the grave come up, when the lady come back up because she gone from vacation or something right now. You know them something they're going to peeps. We all know that it's all fun and games. It's all a myth. We all know, but me just want because could it um, maybe it's not a myth? What if it is not a myth? Like more I run out of my shoes, them peeps. I wanna look at that. But um they're gonna call me as soon as uh, the grave so comes up. So something got something true, Alex. I mean, ask that. Tell me when I find it. <laughs> no, honestly, I didn't know. I, I didn't know. My ex-husband is from St. Thomas, you know, but I didn't know okay. all these things about St. Thomas. I really, really, it is so intriguing that definitely I want a tour of St. Thomas. When I, you see me, I love the beaches and stuff. I'm not a night person, people. I'm not okay. the party party type. If it's not like a barbecue in your yard or something where you know all your guests, I don't go to crowds like those where you don't know anybody. People don't know each other. You don't know who I look for, who, who have something against who. I'm a, sure. I'm, a, I'm a daytime outdoors person. So you see all these, uh, uh, oh man, when I when I watch your videos, when you used to do the vlogs with Akeem. You I remember, was, you yeah, remember when, uh, when I just started to do the vlogs like one Sunday, um, I started that video over by the station. Um, you remember that video I started by the station when I was going to look for the jail? Come here, I said, All right, I'm going to look for one jail. So I start going over the station. I started between yes. the station and the them behind me and stuff. And I was saying, walking down, I was saying that I said this in like three videos where, where in all the videos I was normally saying, like, elite Jamaica, where you don't, where I go outside for you, you don't have to go outside because of lockdown. I remember them times, I never used to mention the C word, I never used to mention coke. It was like a crime to mention that word. I wasn't, uh, I never usually mention the word because it, the, the channel was, the vlogs were supposed to take your mind off COVID. You could have the depression caused by COVID. So I never normally use yeah, you always, you, It's true. You always say you, you, we're not going to use that word over here. Mm -hmm. <laughs> that is so mm -hmm. true. And you wouldn't imagine how much it was helping because here I am a living testimony because it helped me to start something that could also take my true. mind off. It. <laughs> so Alex, uh, could I just ask mm -hmm. you another question here? The the, the room, <laughs> the buckler room that you and Akeem always used to walk with. <laughs> to ward off Duffy, tell us about that one now. Mm. The buckler room. Yeah. Ward off Duffy. To sprinkle. <laughs> <laughs> to appease our ancestors. I'm not going to say ward off To appease our ancestors. Yeah, we sprinkle it. The buckle always empty, but mm, sometimes it empty before we reach. 
So was it it wasn't appeasing their senses at the ancestors, it was mm. appeasing you and Akim. All right. Um, I have always, and if you notice, you know, the video with Tafa when Tafa show the rum pan girl, I say, oh, yeah, them, I don't get up the rum. When them do, I'm tell them to do, then I will give them the rum. And so far, they don't do nothing. <laughs> so, um, I'm, I'm, not a type of I'm not a superstitious person. I'm a no, so I show the rum pan a grave a piece of concrete. I try it pan and the rum a waste. You understand? Mm. Because them can't drink it. They have got nothing exactly. to do with the rum. Yes. And no matter which tribe master from Africa will come say the rum a piece the dead, I just mm -hmm. do not believe in that. Isn't it? I mean, I say, oh, it's yes, possible because yes. when a person died, the Bible tells you that when a person died, he dies in the Neither do I. Yes. If somebody, even, if somebody, I work black magic and I use them, the body for some something for you, see, that's what it is. That's what it is. Still, no one can run as a spirit. Yes. 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 If I were on tough ago, we have to chew a little cut off and I left and I sprinkle some on the grave because I feel the need that. But um, it's because in those times, I just, I kind of just start go pan the camera. All right. So it was like a Michael Jackson thing then. We'd have to drink like a rum, smoke a little spliff, and then go vlog. To because get the vibe. Yes, yes, to get the inspiration. I didn't create the camera. I didn't look on the camera and saw something ugly. I didn't look like rapper crap. I mean, I look like so cool. So, nobody now go watch. <laughs> oh, know? Lord. So, um, that was just one of the things where keep me going, you know? Keep it going. And then it, keep, it kept Akeem happy. And when him and I'm wrong, there was a different vibe where we have the vibe the way. I'm always telling yeah. people this. Even though we have a misunderstanding and everything, he's not a part of a team. I tell people this. If I was supposed to choose someone for work with me, mm -hmm. it would be Akeem. You see me? But we're not going to do that still. Well, I'm, I'm happy. I, do, I don't know what happened. And I don't want to know. I didn't know something happened. I just noticed I wasn't seeing him. So I thought he got busy. So I'm happy I don't know. Because then I might have changed my impression. But believe me. those You you made a great team. Tapa, everybody. You guys made a great team. I just look forward to, to him. I came on him pink bag. I used to say, <laughs> I came with him to your pink bag this morning. <laughs> Um, no, Alex, the one thing, there was yeah. one a great there was a you said we must say great house we must say I don't remember what you said we must call them there was one that was very well um maintained so to speak I'm and you said when that. you went to the back there were some breadfruit trees at the back and I remember you left Akeem and I don't remember if it was Tapa or Wu at the front to say you were going to the back to check out something that you had seen on Google or whatever, or in your records, history records that you wanted to see. And they said when you went around there, like your head start, started raising or something. Mm -hmm. I don't remember that one because I don't know, remember the name of that video. Me but, and Alex, me and Akim and Tafa, right? Yes, and it was a two-story that was like you could actually still climb the stairs and it was so in such good condition. Mm -hmm. I don't remember the name of that yeah. one. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, that one where we found the water wheel also. Oh, oh the yes, with with the, the one with the water wheel. The one with the water mm -hmm. wheel. The one, that the video there? <laughs> uh, Alex, like, <laughs> like, Alex you, know, you know, when I started missing out on your videos, there, there, there was a time when, was it equipment or something and you weren't uploading? And I, you see the thing with that YouTube, guys. Oh, Sassy, welcome, welcome. Sassy said, what happened to the that secret? Is, I didn't even know Sassy was yours. Yes. There was a time when I don't remember it was equipment. You remember after the um the cookout? And so that was when, that's when the phone was stolen. Yes. And then you yeah. weren't uploading every day. The thing with, with YouTube, if you're not uploading every day or if you stop watching your favorite channel every day, they don't come in the videos don't come up in your, in your feed, right? Your videos don't come mm -hmm. up in your feed. You have to go search for them. And there's so much on YouTube that after a while, and then it went down to a time now when your brother, when your brother died and stuff. Mm -hmm. So so there was a like a slack of period. So I missed out on quite a few during the time with just after Alex and so and the phone and the cookout thing and the phone got stolen. Alex, I tell you, we'll go back and watch all of your videos. Way back to, I don't remember when you just started, when you had like, I think 700 subscribers. 
I went back and watched all of them. That's all they that's how much the interest that intrigued me. And that is the type of thing I like. I love that sort of thing. You're the only you YouTuber who I can say I, I, I actually have watched all of your videos up to that point. That is just in between then and now. Okay, I mixed okay. up and I go. You see the video there? Mm -hmm. It's when we went down to the tree. Like I was so scared that I one of my most scary moments. Because I literally go down on the tree and me know so I'm looking at the tree, you know. I'm not a superstitious person. I always say this. I don't believe in a certain things. But then I see, when I see something, I just literally see it. And maybe it's my mind was playing game on me or something. But I see, I see the lady run up in the tree and then one next month run up in the tree. And then yeah, that's what you said. Missing. And you said it was in the video. But let me go back and watch the video and I see it. <laughs> I don't see anything. <laughs> I tell you, if you look, you'll see like the lady foot, like the inner one dress on her feet. You know, see the whole body when she open her tree, you see like her, like the dress on her feet. For real? Yeah. May I go back and watch it? May I go, may go wash my eyes with rice water and see if we can see it? <laughs> you can read the comments, people say them see it. But then, when looking at it, it really looked like a just a formation of a tree. But the day that I was there was really scary. Like, seriously scary. Me never did want to go down the tree. I brave out take and go down the tree. For mm -hmm. real? Mm-hmm. Because Akeem actually braver than me, you know, because Akeem afraid of the people, you know, not at all. You know? I'm afraid of cow either. Yes, and the cow. Yeah, tell us about the cow. Alex and the cow. <laughs> that used to be a thing. That used to keep me laughing. Alex afraid of cow. Well, I'm afraid of cow, so I shouldn't laugh. But, but Akeem used to go actually touch the cows and so I'm like, Jeez, it must be a cold whisperer. <laughs> Look here, Sassy says, what happened to the, what? The secret river. We, we never hear about that one. Secret what river. happened to the secret river? No, Sassy in the chat, the Sassy Diva. Sassy said, Diva she yeah, says she has been watching your channel for a while. And she mm -hmm. just missed out during the same time period that I referred to. She start missing out some. She say, "What happened to the secret river?" Uh, I never heard about that one. Diva, could you remind me about which one of the secret river, please? Because there are so many rivers that I'm um, like persons not know about. Me, I wonder if I the one For across real? from Wiley Cane, the one across from Wiley Cane, when I was going up up New Monklands, and I said there is a river down there, and we'll go down the one there. Is it that one, or is it the one when we were up on um up in the hills? With the river, when we said not the one over, they said the one over, over, we over. Is it that one or the one with the upper judge? I'm not sure which one you're referring to. Could you let me know, please? Oh, I never heard you refer to that one. But but Alex, it's so like there are a lot more stuff you 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 in in Saint Thomas to discover to mm -hmm. unravel. There's a lot but more. But you said you were gonna move on to a next parish. Well. I've already moved on. I'm supposed to be doing Port Royal, then St. Elizabeth, then Portland, oh, yes. then, then, Central. Central. then I'm trying to zigzag so that persons from other parishes can actually see their parish in a video. Because some persons watch for the history, some persons watch for the vlog, some for the fun, some for the song we're playing at the video, some persons watch yes, just for yes, yes. Yes. So um, I have to try to please everybody. And you know, them say can to come. Be when you go, do you take other YouTubers with you? I'd love to come, even not as a YouTuber, but just as a person. I'd love to come on the Port mm -hmm. Royal one. I went, I've been to Port Royal quite a few times, got it fish, a glorious, and that sort of stuff. But the first time was when I was in high school, in I think second form, Clarendon mm -hmm. College. We did a, a, we had a history trip, right? So now that I've met someone who know the history, like. You know, they can close their eyes and tell tell us the history. I'd love to be a part of that, the, the, the Port Royal one. So please don't do it until around summer. I'd love to come on that one. Oh, Lord. So that's the same. Never reached there the day when he was searching for one in St. Okay. Thomas. He was walking and asking persons about Georgie or something like that. The Sassy Diva, that was the copper hole. That was my first video. When I said I go find the copper hole, I made the ask persons. That's what I was referring to. Person said it far and all of that. I'm never find what I went back. But that video is labeled under slave, hidden slave tunnel found. Because when I got the river, I realized there's a tunnel run and die, and it got yellow and all of that. So the title was changed. All right. Okay. I never I don't think I saw that one. 
Josephine says she can't wait for you to do St. Elizabeth. Some interesting <laughs> places over St. Elizabeth, too, you know. I, Josephine, I actually lived at um, Appleton Estate for a while. There's a I lot of rich history. A compact a compound town. You, you're going to go to the Maroon Town, um, Alex? Yeah, I'm planning on doing that. Someone said they're going to try to get me an invite over that's there. A big that's so a big I, get that I'm heading there, you know, because that's Mwanga, the, the one at St. Elizabeth, and the one, the Maroon Town, the Maroon Village in Portland also. Yes, yes. Mm -hmm. But back to that house that you were actually referring to just now. You see, the, where the Paul Bogle jail is located. You see that yeah, house, yeah. Robert Lightburn House? Mm -hmm. Robert Lightburn House was the great house before Robert Lightburn Barn. It built in a the area, it built in a, like one of the room at the original 15th century great house. Because if you watch that video, you realize the foundation that was there before, and don't find the one there, and then you find the back. And that one That's what you were saying, yes. So, is that when I went down there first, if you watch the first video, I went there when I was doing the video about slave jail. Yes. But there was too much bush to there and then was was down there. So we couldn't we couldn't even see the house good. Yeah, I watched that, that one. I watched that one. Mm -hmm. That video actually got great feedback. It was one of the first vlog videos that actually got such a great feedback. Mm -hmm. Um actually got calls from several pe people from UA and UTEC, not not like persons who want to do anything, but persons just saying like, seriously, that is the same like, you know, subscribers would call and say, you know? And I was surprised the other day when I went back there, and I said, the whole place chop out and clean up and I can just walk and do my research and I can just walk and look. So it seems as if because the video was done and they realized, because that is one of the places that I said we we're going to adopt it and like keep it clean up and all of that. But obviously somebody started doing it and it's because of a video. It's nothing else. It's just because of the video that we did. I really appreciate the fact that them do that. Whether them do it out a bad mind or a good art or whatever, may appreciate the fact that them chop out it so that persons can actually see. Yes, Alex, because, because you always say it in your you always say it in your videos that um the the history people, the authorities, I don't know if it's heritage trust, that was the heritage trust in my days. I don't know what me. they're called now. If they would that you you were hoping that your your video would draw attention, because this is this is tourism. You really wonder. I'm not bashing anybody, but I'm a very straightforward person. You really wonder why are we so short sighted? We have such rich history. Look on Spanish Town. Kevin mentioned Spanish Town. Look on Spanish Town City, the biggest city in the West. Look on even Port Royal. Port Royal only has a name. I go there and I don't see no tourism. You understand? It's just the name if you didn't know about it before. We can't have rich heritage sites like that and do, do nothing. All these, all these Paul Bogle jail. That is not something that should it's be in ruins like that. The, the Morant Bay, the Morant Bay courthouse. Come on, man. Those things should never be in shambles. I mean, some yeah. of them you don't want to restore them to 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 um to take away the historical value. But they you can be, put a little... Be, they shouldn't be restored. They should be maintained. Should be maintained, right. But you can put a little outhouse on it with a little office so, and a little visitor visitor um, center, visitor something, and, and security guards to run it, to operate it, so that people can come and... You understand? You know how much money... But, but we are so short-sighted. You know how much Let money we could get, the country could gain from things like those... I was surprised the, the other day we went to Negril, everything in a one. A couple of years ago, everything. like two years ago, we went to Negril. The Negril Lighthouse, what, what happened to the tour? Negril when we were going no down the road, we said the, the road practically practically blocked off. There's no Negril Lighthouse tour anymore. We are already heading. No one we are killing off people. So because if we don't have these things to educate people and keep our minds in the right place, we don't must go walk around and start killing off one another. Negril is a city without a soul. You know, Negril is a city without a soul. Negril just dead. You know, I don't know why. That, that, that um, shouldn't be it's such a rich history. Let me let me say this though. You know, um, our brains, we we as human beings, um, every single third world country, at least every nation, it seems as if we have been programmed to forget our past. You know, and I don't know how them do it. It's is it the school system as we were speaking about the other day? 
them help do that. Now, let me show you something from a psychological point of view. Uh, the first video, the first vlog video you watched, and you saw those buildings, the older buildings. I'm speaking about like the great houses. I know right now if you go anywhere and you see, even out of the corner of the eye, there is a great house or anything there. I'm using the regular terms now. Even if you see it out of the corner of the eye, you're going to recognize it, that it's actually history, a part of history. You're going to feel connected to it. A lot of persons have told me this. And uh, you see, before is like, say, you'd have just passed them things as you were saying. You'd have just passed it and not even paid no mind. But once your eye open to the thing, it's like, you start to see it. You start to see the world. History is around us, all about our own way. You know, but persons won't see that unless they're exposed. And that's why normally, guys, that's why I always say, share the video. Share the video to your family yeah, and share yeah. it to your You may say it's history, but there are persons who will find it interesting. Not only for history, but there are persons who are not interested in history. They're not interested in nothing. But anyway, they like to learn. and just like their new things. That so is it. Them, them friend that Understand? is so true. That is mm -hmm. so true. No, no, Ceci in the chat. I'm not saying Ceci. I'm not saying we as a people short sighted. You know, I mean the authorities. This is Ceci saying no, we short sighted. I agree. The government body that is running the country. No, I mean the authorities. I don't mean we the people. But it, but there is so much we the people can do without the help of the proper authorities to put things into place. That is so true, um, Alex. Because personally, I wouldn't have. These things, as as I said, like the Paul when you show the Paul Bogle jail and the actual um um we call it what they hang him on the word just slipped my mind and I used the word before mm -hmm. and yes. you showed even the you showed the cell and the, yeah. the thing that they hung him on and the whatever like that and like a drawboard under the bottom and all like a trap door sort of thing and I'm like that just mm -hmm. brings it to life formerly for me Paul Bogle was just one of the the heroes on a on a chart that you hang up in the in the classroom or that you see on the back of the exercise book or whatever. They, they really didn't mean much more. To be honest, you know, guys, I read what they did and I respect what they did. But they didn't come to life as much as when I saw Alex do that video. And the, suddenly he was just a real person. He was just a real person with a wife and a family who eat, sleep, and drink like myself. You understand? It was just it wasn't just somebody in the history books anymore. And and there was one you did about like and you were showing like the path that like maroons would take and that sort of thing and their escape. And you know, all of that is like it's like I'm right there. It's like I'm right, it, it's just you're right there when you're watching Alex videos, and that is how you make things come to life. And I really hope that 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 people, Jamaican National Heritage Trust and whatever they are today are watching your videos and paying attention to how just an average person, I would say, is bringing Jamaica to life. You're Trust me, you're doing more for Jamaica more than the minister right now, the minister of, his, of tourism. I mean, it's just a fact. Mm -hmm. it's as just as a I fact. say in my <laughs> intro, as we say in the intro, I'm just a normal person with passions I am yes. willing to pursue. Yes, yes. I'm just... Um, my interests are my interests and interested in the history. I love archaeology. I love the whole of them, you know, like, and anthropology and the whole of the whole of the is like some of them may not even know the name of me, but I know say, yeah, I like to find out things. You know, with plants, I like for my, my grandmother taught me how to ingraft plants. Like you can get three different mango on one tree, you can get four different flowers on one tree. I mm -hmm. like them things. If you notice when we went to the um the island head plantation mm -hmm. straight off of the top of my head the flowers them without the building me, me know them flowers them flowers are all in the bible you know if you if you if you read like, that's what that's what i'm saying a lot of the bush you know we are the writing of the bible <laughs> that is the personal documents which have diagrams are pictures of plants you see them same flowers over the fear of them over them places like say they keep the breeze on wait make the place cool right. and flowers that they're, 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 those flowers will live for a thousand years. Them just grow and grow. They are parasitic. Them will eat down the building and still live, you know? Thank so, you. Um, and, and, that's and, my and little issue, you know? That is the way when I can appreciate someone, I, I respect and love someone who is able to, you know, dig beneath the surface, people. Even if you're a, a, a content creator, that's what we're saying here. Dig between the surface. 
whatever your theme is, just use that and dig between the surface. And even the person who still who have a hundred thousand subscribers, before you know it, you will be able to rise above that person. Russ is saying he would love to do a history tour of Jamaica when he have to be when he come more than have to be locked into the same resort for my first trip back. That is it. Um, Agla, my, fir my first trip back after 14 years, that's what we did. Unfortunately, all 13 parishes, unfortunately, not St. Thomas. If you were here earlier, I was explaining why. Because St. Thomas is like, you, you'd have to be going to St. Thomas to go to St. Thomas. You understand? From, mm -hmm. from Kingston or anywhere else, you don't have to pass through St. Thomas to go to even Portland. Most people still prefer to go to St. Mary. So the St. Thomas trip would be separate. And was it Kevin was saying about Spanish Town, as I mentioned, Spanish Town. Kevin, did you see on the news recently? I don't remember which African country where they fight a whole village full of gold. In and I just believe that. You, you were watching it? Um, yeah, that's in the Congolese mountains. But I've been trying to tell persons that that is actually short-lived joy because once they find that you know out, outside sources, Americans, for that matter, I mean, I like you as the name because persons will say everything you say America, but it's true. Americans, for that matter, the Rothschild and them people will control the gold. They, 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 they never want it. There's that no way they're, they're not gonna allow them. Have, they, 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 you know, the Congo, they have to have a, they have to have a strong army to protect them people. To protect and, it, that's true, Kevin, because it's gonna be like short lived because of greed. But why I brought it up is because, as, as Kevin was saying about Spanish Town. Even over mm -hmm. my way, there, somebody mentioned the Spaniards up top. Oh, oh Kevin, same one. Spaniards would love to come to Jamaica for see their ancestors' conquest. Okay, when I was in high school, some guys were farming and while digging, they dug up a, a, a chest of Spanish coins, right? I don't remember the value of right now, but at the time, Spanish, Spanish coins, coins, yes. Coins? Kitson, yes, is that Clarendon? No, not Kitson Town. Oh, Clarendon. Morris. Okay. At Morris okay. in Clarendon, right? And when they, in trying to decide what to do with it, they ended up taking it to the police. Mm -mm. And the greedy police them take out most of it before turning it over. And it was valued at over a hundred thousand at that time. And those were the days when, um, that was way back in the. In the late 80s, people. And that's so just that's the value that, that's the value that right. they give you. Because that's the value that, they, that is it. That. You really don't even know. So, and, and that back then, like $50,000 could have buy a, a brand new car. So, I'm just saying that to show oh, how okay. the value okay. of it. So, we know, and, and uh, legend has it, if my parents would tell you that there is a cave on the riverbank, because we have a, we have a, a blue hole. A blue hole is really a place in Jamaica. A blue hole is really a place with strong current that they use to generate. The, this the back in the slave or ancestors' days, they used to use it to generate um, electricity, power for the plantations. So we have a blue hole with a whole reservoir. We call it slavery wall. A whole reservoir that leads to uh, 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 the the great house and the water wheel and stuff. Because ours was a a former um, governor. That, that owned the two plantations that formed our community. And they say along the riverbank now where the blue hole is, is a cave. And I always, my sister and I, we always wanted to go and people keep telling us, you can't go by yourself, whatever, whatever. That's why I say I want Alex to, anytime I come, I, hopefully you'll have time. You understand? And several communities have these legends. And a lot of time they're not legends. I'm sure there's a lot of gold, a lot of artifacts and relics of monetary yes, value, not just historical value, that is hidden in Jamaica, because that's how, that's how from my little that I know, that's how the Spaniards used to have to, to hide it from each other, plus when the British came, when the English came, they had to hide a lot of their stuff from the Brit British because they were plundering and stealing stuff, so a lot of things are buried, plus just over time, you understand, still, just over time, rain and, and whatever, wash, dirt over things and bury things i'm sure we have a lot of stuff buried a lot of stuff yeah. and that's why i'm still like i read documents i look at information about 
the Spanish in Jamaica about their lifestyle. May mm -hmm. study my move them because I'll know we don't. I'll know we don't do a gold hunt. We're not doing a treasure hunt. You understand? And there's so much, as I just said, there's so much treasure hidden, buried, lost. I just put them in a Jamaica. And St. Thomas, St. Mary, Portland are three of those places because they are close by to the coast. Kingston, yeah. half a tree and the whole of them place there, trust me, a lot of treasure is buried in those areas because that was the league on the plane when Port Royal destroyed. Over town, everybody did come from live and then wanted for them nearer to the coast. So anything I go hide, I go hide them place. Then you'd have the cave them like stony red hills and them place because there are caves that were there. Then enough of them will get uh, like eroded and stuff like that. But there were always caves and these places. You understand? I can imagine, and and especially like like that the the bridge, the the edge of the the western edge of the Blue Mountain Range going to Saint Mary. Because anywhere you see so much waterfalls coming out of the hills, there are always mm -hmm. caves. So I'm sure Not there's a lot of caves up that way. Kids and well. coverings with big openings with like with 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 some uh, with a call. If they're coming like a like a choir center or something, you know, those are actually there. But you see, why you have those in the Blue Mountain era in the Blue Mountain basin still? You see the type of rock that we see in the Blue Mountain era, especially up even up in the hills that we went the other day when we were looking for the island plantation. If you notice the type of rock, it's that type of rock that. Uh, when the rock, it, it, it is so like there has to be it's a type of rock that create, create covers. You understand? Oh. Them tough rock where you can't really walk on. Yeah, it's a type of rock that create covers. So there are a lot of caves on the map that I have. <clears throat> a lot of open cover. Some of them large, like some auditorium, but I've never tried to okay. find any of those as yet. I yeah. At one point, I tried to find the one at the Banana River, the Banana River Cave, because there's a species of rat bat that lives in there. We did want to see that some pink rat bat, and they're not poisonous. But anyway, I wasn't able to find it. But after I do the video and turn back, me and Tafa, that's the video when Neil dropped my water up in Banana oh, River. Yes. I that's the song, that one. Yes. Someone messaged me and big up to Bunny, Bunny from Jones Pen. He was the, one of the last citizens to leave from Jones Pen. That's the abandoned community. He now lives I watched that one about the abandoned community. Yeah. Right. So Bunny reach out to me and Bunny tell me say, if I go a little bit further, I'm going to find the cave because it's just right up there. So I haven't gotten a chance to go back as yet. To but, go back, yeah. okay. Okay. Mm -hmm. Sassy is saying, um, Jamaica Hurtis trust not paying those things any mind. All they care about is fighting with Nipa in court over beach cleaning exercise. <laughs> Sassy, you're too bad. And she said when she was growing up, she was told that Port Royal has a lot of riches buried under the sea. Yes, yes. Um, Alex, could you tell us about the like the ship um, during the during the earthquake? And then there's actually also a, a ship that has not been well. I don't know if you'd say unearthed or excavated in this sense that that is buried it's under the sea at Port there. Royal. That is and in the ocean. I think they use uh, what do you call that aqua tourism? What do you call it? Or um, eco, is that eco tourism? Eco. eco well, okay. we call it marine tourism still, you know. <laughs> you know, but um, in 2016, when divers from Pennsylvania came here to actually explore that structure under the water, whether it's a ship or a building, because there are buildings under there also. There are buildings from sudden, the earthquake, yes. Mm -hmm. All of a sudden, the JDF get involved and NEPA say everybody of you have a pass to go underneath the water. Nobody in a diving can do an exploration can do from that. So, uh, <clears throat> and then after that, the JDF had uh, basically them start live over there now. They have a post over there. So, you know, you can't go against, and it's the marine division with over there. So, they could be at the same time excavating and taking out stuff from under the water. We want to know about not, not please, nobody not say Alex or the soldier, them a thief, no goal. And put that in the um, quotations. They could be excavating, they could be doing research, they could have to call things, we don't know. But at the end of the day, no public person is not allowed to dive or to explore that area. Okay, uh, I can understand. Because, so you mean it's like a, a like a sort of reservation? I can understand because people will go take out the stuff, but then they need to develop it so that the rest of the island, what's the sense you just have something lock off? You know, make money off of it. You know, expose the rest of the country to it. You know, bring tourists to come see it. They just lock up something so rich and, and valuable. 
I mean, rich in mm-hmm. culture mm-hmm. and history. And you know, no you know, not with it. But we want to see it too. We want to know that so that we can be sure say it is there, you know? Like, I'm going to touch a point. Uh, this just come across mine. When I did the judge video, someone was like, I know every way of a show, you know, because when them come, we have to run, go up, there, go hide. And I was like, you really expect somebody to come then? That sounds like somebody will have to run and hide. But then my point to that person, which I made that point already, but if you're watching now, my point to that person is, whenever time there's history, you see, if you notice what I go on, where I print it, this try, and when it this try, we're not going to remember about it because they might tell us something about it. You see, once it's documented, you can't keep all the brick them. The history can't be lost because person would have known their history. But if we don't document those sites, I want to document them building, there, I document the information, and nobody will know. Once the people them where that person are waiting on to come take over, once them come and take over, if they move the site or destroy the site, we would even know what was there before. So it's best to show the locations. And that's why sometimes we disguise the location in a certain way, which you know where we go, but you don't know exactly how to find where we go. You understand? So that's just for reach out to the person the way that's the one to show everything. We've got to show everything. All right. But then you can understand because like in my parish, I guess maybe St. Thomas people sort of have a different uh, St. Thomas sort of remind me of St. Elizabeth. People more have a more community and family atmosphere. You understand? But like in my parish, you'd have to be so careful. I see you even showing people holes. You couldn't do that, I Clarin, then I know. Sometimes in some areas, some people, because uh, all right, you guys remember the issue, the, the, the issue with Kevin, or uh, maybe you guys didn't know there was an issue with Kevin, the youth, and the guy in the yellow marina. That guy who is from in the UK when I did the great house video in Mount Vernon, and he was explaining oh, with the, with the guy who was a returning resident and, and him full of sweet talks, yeah, yeah, well. Um, all right, this is something that I can say unlike. Mm-hmm. And let me put this across so that we get a feedback. Someone normally live in the UK, they committed a crime in the UK, they got deported, they served time, got deported, come to Jamaica. Is that person a criminal? No. It's just stigma. Yeah. Stigma. All right. Now, what we can understand with our society. So, even if that person was a criminal, with that vast amount of knowledge of the person, I'm going to try honest the information then. Why you, you just want to put down the person with the information and everything? Yeah, that's dumbing down on society. Exactly. You know? So, because he has a history, he's not supposed to in my video. I go back and I do the next one and I get back call and I was getting call from a police officer. Do you know in the video? Because so, what you do, you have you a fugitive. fugitive. They might go charge you for harboring a fugitive. <laughs> he's not wanted by the Jamaican government in no way. No way. So, so, so he's, he's he's, 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 he doesn't no have, way. even if he had a criminal record in his country, the he doesn't person, have, he's not wanted by the Jamaican government. He's a, a Jamaican citizen. He's a free person. This person has a personal uh, personal vendetta against that person. The person that called me. The fact is, the fact is and it's not even him, it's a family member. Now, me video me show place, because place a developer, me show say, oh, there is so and that and that and that. It is not my fault if someone, and I said this on the live already, it is not my fault if someone lives at a particular place where their family is responsible for. If you want to call your family every week and trick them and tell them, say, you're broken, hungry, and you have to carry on a bike back in the yard, that's not my business. When me make my your video, business. <laughs> When you make my video, if your family see that, you're supposed to tell them, say, I run on taxi company. And it's not your own. But I can't know that. So that is, <laughs> that is why. Somebody, somebody, that somebody is why. Ex- and because it's exposing you know, somebody. Oh. Like, we're not even, I'm, 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 I'm no business because they want to do something wrong and them get exposed. That's not my part. <laughs> but you, you see, in my it parish, you couldn't go get involved in that because people, <laughs> people are probably start threatening you because people are saying, "Jeez, um, I see the big house. All of them say them still living at the one room or the two room. I'm see the big you house in a one guy video. The big house with them have down there, and every day them ask me if I send money and tell me say the window not put in yet and the roof not go. <laughs> and look how much you know that's you know, that's what I think. I'm like, but you're good. I would never want to put myself, believe me, I would have to try to leave out the houses 
and the community people who I didn't get their permission to put them on camera. And that's other thing because you can't uh, the, experience in a certain place. The, the, press, the Press Association of Jamaica, the Broadcasting Com Commission of Jamaica, they all can attest to this. Once you're on the street, I uh, can't video your house. Your house is a public property, you know. I can't video in your house, though. If you're in your yard, I do something wrong. I can't really. If you're in right, the yard, right, you know, right. if you're molesting or abuse a child in your yard, you're free to come in the come video because you're breaking the law. But if you're in your house, in your yard, you don't have to wash on them things. You have no right to do that. Uh, yes, yes. You can your house, video that different. But once you're on the street, you know, on school, from on plaza, and at the police station, anywhere else you're part of. The, 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 yeah, yeah, public. Yeah, you're public. You're, you're public property then. So mm -hmm. you know, that's the thing. That is what happened with uh, Kevin and. Uh, men don't know, like men don't know what become of them if them still get the money or whatever. But they they they, they trust that trick them family and get caught, you know. So you have to um, be you know the the I. Normally, when you see certain persons on video, as Mida said, with, with for them thing with the house on the bike and thing, it could have been, it could have gone different because you see me filming, just wait till me don't take that clip there and say, yo, bro, you know, so I don't want that kind of video to cut it out. It would have been cut out. You know, but yes, if you try because, to, if, if, try if you to don't, if they tell you directly, you're, you're not going to be so malicious that you're going to still put it All through. right. You know, instead you try to turn against somebody when I'm a video and try this and try that. There's nothing that can have me remove a video from YouTube unless it violates YouTube community guidelines. Right, I'm right, correct because right. I do not use videos to like and if I saw more Mr. say hurt somebody, I'm going to remove it. But otherwise from that, not for you. Yes. No, I am not that brave. They're saying in the chat that they want you for Prime Minister. <laughs> they say Alex or Prime Minister. <laughs> Guys, for anyone who is what still wondering who I am, I'm and the simple things in the in the chat. And as I said, I'm very honored to be a, 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 a guest on Alex Live. So I'm the th Simple Things Outreach Media in the chat. You can check out my channel after, please. If you're a small content creator, leave a comment so I can connect back with you. They said I want you for prime minister. <laughs> but it's true. No. That, 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 um, the things you bring to the table, it's so refreshingly different. Because obviously, you're, 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 the things you're saying are well thought out. You understand? And it's not just for your own benefit. Because no. if, it, if, if it was for your own benefit, for instance, I wouldn't be sitting here on this live for two hours and 12 minutes. You understand? So yeah. it's it's to benefit everyone. And the feedback you get mm -hmm. from people. I mean, it's not just St. Thomas people who are saying, thanks for showcasing our parish. There are so many people. I see people in your chat all the while who haven't been to Jamaica in years. I see people who have never been to Jamaica. But they came yeah, across your video and is learning so much about Jamaica. And that's the thing. But Alex, you said some things about the the pla the flowers, and what was it you said a while ago? Oh, you know so much. The rocks, the rocks. And I remember, like you used to say, you can look on this structure and tell that this structure is modern. It's since the nineteen hundreds. Like this structure. I mean, in your videos, you know, in your vlogs, like you say, like that structure, you can tell that that one was from back then in the slavery days. But you can look at like the tomb. The um. Who was it with the tombs? How could you tell which one of those tombstones were murdered? Oh, you know so much. It's all right. Um, this are the only time I was sound superstitious. It's like something drive me sometimes. But otherwise, from that getting the experience from the different sites. All right. First, you have to know the, the error and the building technique that they used in that era. If a brick a later up in other times. But if it's stone, it's further back. And if it's stone, them look really pretty and look like tile or marble, are way, way back. Because the further back you got, the better designs you get. But coming up close, you get some neat design, but weak material. Okay. And next thing, we in, our, in our the 90s, we build with block and cement. We're from the 80s too, you know. But then those buildings that slave masters normally use, none were created in the in the in the in the in the 19, 1980s and none none like that because they were already there. Now, if you notice, when we went to Al's Ed, Al Ed Estate, we found that aqueduct, that long aqueduct where it was there with us all the way until we reached the estate. Remember that one I did the other day, me and uh, Trevor. I, I didn't see it as yet. No, sorry. Okay. 
Well, that uh, that video that we did, there's an aqueduct about two miles out of aqueduct until we reached the great house. We found the great house. We found the settlement, actually. And I shared even a picture of how the settlement was. That is one of the most perfect setup we found, where it was the gate was here and the house was here and everything set up like how it was set up. All right, that one, looking at the aqueduct, I realized that the aqueduct was built after those persons moved. The houses were built with stone and the type of bricks. We can look. If you watch that video, you actually... And uh, when in the video, when I say, okay, this part they built that time, and the part that it built over, and the part that it built over, there, there is evidence of that because you can say, well, one window did the same, but then they use one different kind of stone to fill in here. So that means that those persons using that building at the time never need the window, or the place was eroded where the house got lower, so them just block in the window because a lot of that happened to most of these places that we find were actually standing on the roofs of buildings and the roof of second floors. You know, because it's actually eroded. Uh, with plants, I read a lot about plants as I tell me love anthropology. Uh, that to do with plants? Anthropology? Uh, adapt, no? I don't even know they the words. Them plant, them. I think so. They call it plant science. No, I don't remember if. Uh, you know? If, uh, but, if, um, uh, I think so. No, botany. Mm -hmm. bot botany. I think a botany. botany. Tara, <laughs> plant science, a botany. Or anthrop I think a botany. Tara teacher, Tara. Some comments with the inner day. <laughs> Look here now. Them say, them say you're going to get corrupted. <laughs> if you turn, if you turn, if you turn politician, if you go into politics, you're going to get corrupted. So them know what I'm talking about. That is my God. You see, God, I believe in a dictatorship. If I ever become prime minister, this whole country would turn in a, a dictatorship because me think that. They're going to turn you in a Crawford. They're going to do you with them do Crawford. That's what they say. <laughs> If, if, if you're alone on the country, you don't have no reason for being corrupt. You don't have no reason for rush and grab nothing because you know, say, are you on the country? Say, so you can do everything for your country and still wait 10 years before you get paid. But if a four year alone, most likely you'll get corrupt because you won't get paid. Because you're not sure if you'll come back in another seat. That's, that's the thing. What politics, the way it is. You know? That's the thing. But the, and that's sort of like what I was say, we were saying at the start about the YouTube. If it's just the money you're going to something for, you're going into it for the wrong reason. Mm -hmm. So, mm -hmm. so you're not going to achieve your passion, mm -hmm. you understand? Money sure. money can be the only thing that drives us. Or, and that is the thing with politics. As Sassy mentioned, Crawford, there are so many good um, good, good people with good intent that went in. But it's as if you, you just end up being corrupted. If, if you can't beat them, join them. Is that If you can't beat them, then beat you and push you out. Or you just have to end up joining them. There are a lot of people, there are a lot of, we have a, a a wealth of, of intelligent people with passion and drive for their country, you know, people. But a lot of people are scared of, of going in. One, your life is at risk. And two, you're going to end up corrupt, getting corrupted, as people are saying in the in the chat. Marshallin says botany. Yes, botany. Study. I, I felt mm -hmm. so Marshallin. Plants. Study of plants. Okay. Yes. You know, um, as far as we say with this, Prime Minister, this government thing, like, might as well pack some suitcase and just go St. Elizabeth and Poland, going in at Maroon Town, you know? They're not a Prime Minister, they have chiefs. That's what I'm going to say, Bush, may come from, you know? We don't have, we don't have police, we don't have running water, we don't have independent government for nothing. Only thing we need is a, a, a JPS, and we can learn to make solar powered. Um, and there yeah. are a lot of things we can do for ourselves, you know, guys, so... Sustainable. We can use hydro. We have lot, got a lot of rivers. Yeah, and all our rivers in the Jamaica. Right, I mean, no, right behind us. We can do hydro, yeah? The whole river in Jamaica run from up, go down. They run off of the hill, go down from the flat. We don't have no problem to do a hydro, hydro dam. No way in Jamaica. In other countries, however, in Europe and Switzerland and even at the, even at the States, you know what they have to do? To create the hydro, hydro dam, they have to create the environment. They have to build the terrain so that the water can have pressure to create energy. We don't have to do that. Because our water is pitching for some rock or some place that come down. We just need, well, I don't know if we do it. I don't say it one but, but think of it. Think of it. We were the first to have hydroelectricity in the Western mm -hmm. Hemisphere. Yeah. You know, you, you, could, you, you, you could do that video. I mean, a lot of people do that video before, but you could do it like with the, the first to have train, the first to have hydroelectricity at Black River. And Did I think there are things that were first. Who you say you watch the whole of my video them? Huh? Who you say you watch the whole of my video them? I've done. You do. You do that. 
No, no, maybe I'm mixing you up because no, because so a, a few people have done that before over okay. the years. So maybe mm -hmm. I watch yours in the early stage and thought it was one. Yes, True. yes. And if I we had look at Black River, we were the first to have hydroelectricity in the Western mm -hmm. Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. So when you really some of, think of some of the things, we get backward. And I'm not gonna blame any particular government. It's just I'm our sorry. leaders in general, and we the people sit down and allow them to do it. So may I have to blame with them. Actually. St. Elizabeth had a pipe to water before New York City. And yes. when you say that St. Elizabeth had electricity before New York City, people, we're not talking about why I know where, 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 where I'm thinking the when name Edison or them creating you know? We're not talking about hydroelectricity. All right? Because I said that in my video, and people are like, oh, there are all them places and this and that. And I know that piece, but we, we did. No, hydroelectricity, electricity. water from the, I mean, electricity from the water. Mm -hmm. Like this video that I'm working on right now, the video that is going to be coming out today after the live, like each place, because it's the best place to buy a house in Jamaica, but each place I'm going to be giving you a little piece of history about the place, the cost of living, the pros and cons, the monthly rent for, the, for that area, all of that information. And um, just thinking about that, I remember that you guys know that we are the first golf club in the Western Hemisphere. That's the Mandeville Golf Club. Well, I... Did I? I'm not. Even, I don't even know if I know that. You know. You know. You know. You know. Yeah. I, you need to start a, a class. You need to start a class. Um, we had we had railway right? service before a lot of countries. We had postal service before a lot of countries. Yes. We had telephone company. We are we are the first country in the in the Caribbean to have internet and phone service like that. Telecommunications of Jamaica. We have um. There are a lot of firsts. I did the video about the first. Um, we're, the, we're the first person yeah, with the iron quality. bridge. We still have the oldest iron bridge, with this, with this, which is the Spanish town footbridge. It's mm -hmm. still the oldest, the first and the oldest in the Western Hemisphere. And, we do, mm -hmm. and a lot of these things are not just in the, in the, in the, in the Caribbean, you know, people, in the Western Hemisphere. Mm -hmm. we, even mm -hmm. the rail service, we're the first in the Western Hemisphere. And I think it's only India. Is the first in the world, and I think Jamaica was the second in the world to yeah. have rail that service. Yes, and you think they, why are, what, what happened to all that? Why was where did we go wrong? Where did we go wrong? My touch on something I always think about is it a fact that because uh, you have got historians who say like the world are recycled, which the world is more modern and get back we and then we are go yeah. back to the future. Yeah. Is it a fact that why is it? That when we speak about first by Jamaica, we still have to set in the Western Hemisphere because it seemed like everything where we have the people I mean, at the next hemisphere, our the Eastern or Southern Hemisphere. I don't mean, know them call over this. Uh, Eastern, Middle Eastern, East, right? Eastern, Eastern, Eastern yeah. Hemisphere. Is it that those persons had all of this technology and everything before the Western world? Could that be? Because um, they would have gone back to the, to the, to the, to the, to the um, what them call them people eh? The, 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 oh my God. What do you mean? Part of the thing though, Alex, is that mm -hmm. um, in the est in the Western world at the time, before the mm -hmm. East came to the West, the lifestyle was different because we had, we refer to them as Indians. Okay. We had indigenous peoples who lived in touch with nature, right? So they weren't interested in the Western world Canada, Canada, the Americas in general go right down to South America, from North America right down to South America, including the Caribbean and Latin America. The indigenous people weren't interested in uh, modernization, machination, automation, nothing. They lived in touch with nature. So it's the East that brought in mm -hmm. all of these developments. And yes, it was good, but if you notice, it mash up the people, their lifestyle. That is why they... The indigenous people, what? like in America here, in Canada, so they have, just like with the Maroons in like a punk town, as a punk town, they a have -com their own reservations because they realize that, and it's a fact, you know, people, is modernization much of the world, you know. Look on technology, doing good, but look on the countries that are technologically advanced. Look at the lifestyle. That is why like the Maroons in a compound town and those people live like that. They maintain their culture. They maintain their lifestyle. Look at the crime rate in those places. It's zero to none. 
You understand? And that is why, like, you have in, in America here and in Canada, you have reservations for, for these people because they don't want to live with the technology and the hustle and bustle and the this and that. You understand? Uh, so so it's good in one sense, but it, it, it corrupts it and it's yeah. speed. True. Um, looks as if I just lost uh, simple things right there. Simple things, please uh, join me back as soon as you get a chance. Yeah, peeps. So I uh, really appreciate you guys joining me this morning. It was a very interesting show. Really want to say thank you to Simple Things for joining us. And uh, yeah, it was really an interesting show, peeps. Really enjoyed. Um, what I'm going to do. Yeah, in the cockpit country. Okay, guys. So I didn't get a chance to shout out everybody in the chat this morning. As you noticed, I was having this conversation, a very, very interesting conversation. And um, tomorrow morning's live, guys, I'll try to have another guest on the program where we can have some discussions. And I'm going to try to have a specific topic that we discuss. Okay, so guys, I want to say again, thank you so much for joining me. It was really, really, really a pleasure having you here. Okay, look like D is back. I like to, I guess before I tell myself it's time to go be no prayer, me no eat, no do nothing yet from mine. Yeah, um, um, I was just, you know, me actually did just a close off just now. Okay, I'm okay. Be closing off. So, guys, it was a very, 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 like a very, very interesting chat. Mm -hmm. Be with yourself, man. I enjoyed this. All right. And guys, remember you can go over to Simple Things Outreach Media, subscribe to her channel. That would really help her. All right. And if you haven't yet subscribed to Elite Jamaica, continue. Consider subscribing to Elite Jamaica. Sometime around, then get this nothing I like. Master, consider. How I love us. Not it, not it's worth it. Is I like any are the word two are the word three that are the one we grow out of the word because when you spell it over and over, over you have to it spell like no, that's what it's not going to look good. Spell you can spell the word use, spell the word use in your mind and see how it sounds. It sounds weird, but anyway, guys, it thank you all of us. It happened to all of us, Alex. Don't mind, mm -hmm. yeah, man. Thank you for your support, guys. Thank you all. For thank, you. thank you so thank much you. for having me, um, Alex. I, yeah, I can't believe I sent out the, this to like my sisters and my family and I'm like chance of a lifetime because I can't believe this is like a dream come through for me and I'm, I'm sure it, it, you have impacted my life so much with your channel and now so getting to talk with you in person I'm seeing how much of a great person you are and please keep up the good job and I'm sure it's going to impact my channel because I'm sure I'm going to grow and thanks to those who have already hopped over to my channel and subscribed please hop over and, and let's support each other and the other small YouTubers in the chat. Thanks for stopping by thanks for this opportunity if anybody had told me that was my dream you know but I said next time I come down I wonder if Alex is the type of person who would I really want to you know want me to come along with him or something. So I'm I'm really, it's like a, an answered prayer. I never expected it so early in this YouTube walk. And I'm sure it's going to do, I saw what it did for Jay. And the, the other Jay, um, Jamaica, what again? Jamaica Yardline. Uh, Yard Jay, Line. The Jay, other Jay. No, monetized. He's at yes, almost because it's like subscribers. the first time and I was on your live and you said go over to Jay and subscribe. By the that. time I go over to Jay and I checked back, that, that was a Saturday night. By the Sunday morning, it was over a thousand. Yeah, and I'm like, three, whoa. Three weeks we take to do that. Mm -hmm. Yes, mm -hmm. yes. So so it's like anything you touch, it turns gold. So I'm looking for my pot of gold. <laughs> As <laughs> In this time, we just have to do things with a clean yeah. heart because whatever we put out in the universe, that's what comes back to us, you know. So we just have to be yeah, real. Exactly. With, you know, so thanks to everyone for connecting with me and for those who who were asked to share the live and who shared the live and came back, Shan, Sassy, um, Tara, everyone. And for those who I'm just meeting here, I see people like Marshalline, 
A month now me here, you call Marshall in name, you know. So now we get to meet her in the chat. And that's oh, another thing. Mm -hmm. Believe me. Mm -hmm. uh, it, it's like a real family, and I'm happy to be a part of the EJ family. And I hope also, guys, that you'll be And I should think Marshall in Marshalline is a part of NEPA. Uh, is it NEPA or the EPA, Environmental Protection Agency? Marshalline, let me know, please. I think okay. she's a part of the EPA. Okay. So we did a drop word for Marshalline while she was right there listening. <laughs> mm -hmm. Yes. So thanks for everything. We've got we've the Oprah got, of Jamaica. Mar Mar Marlene Wester, you're the Oprah of Jamaica. Oprah. <laughs> Better than Oprah. Better than Oprah. Yeah. So okay. guys, when we have when we have um people who are willing to stand up for us, because let us not just think about us as a person, you know, not just person. Because it's not just somebody giving us something like money or whatever when I'm in need. Not only that can help me, but information, knowledge is power. Knowledge is power. And I see, Alex, because even when I sent this channel to my niece, I said, no, man, this guy looks like he has a degree in history or something. Knowledge is power. And I really have to say, oh, you know so much. And to share it like this on this platform, you understand? Well, let's, let's appreciate him. Let's support him in all he does. And the idea that he threw out about um, the, having one no. platform for, for, oh, yeah. for the for the YouTube, okay. the small YouTuber thing, if any other financiers want to pick up that and run with it, and let's get something done so that we can, you know, all improve ourselves. And, and those of us who are small in content creator. Yes, Alex, sorry. It's not Marshall and Wilmot. It's Marsha, Marsha Lee Goodwin, I should say. Oh, it's Marsha Lee Goodwin. Oh, okay. I mm -hmm. thought it's Marshall Lee. All right. Mm -hmm. All right. Okay. I'm sorry about the Marshall Lee. I made that mistake. All right. Yeah, God, I'm the Alex of Jamaica. You notice my Alex of Pubex. Sassy say you should do this more often. Yes, he's gonna do um he's gonna he said he was gonna profile a new YouTuber each time, Sassy. So Tara J Blogs, if you're available tomorrow morning, I would really appreciate having you on the show. You know, that would really help your channel also. And we can grow together, learn together as because you know, guys I will only like the candle and lead the way I need you guys to follow me you know it's a journey for all of us you know we might have a little more experience but we all learn from each other all right so once oh, again okay. I just thank you all for being here it was really 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 a great conversation you know for all of those Talman TV big ups uh like all of the new persons we watched a while ago, if you haven't yet subscribed to Elite Jamaica, you haven't yet to, 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 to our simple things. Remember, you can always subscribe. I get twisted. Welcome to all, man. Yeah, yeah I, think, I think, I guess I'd ask two persons to share the live. So I see some of them coming over. <laughs> some okay. of my subscribers. Welcome, son. How you doing? How you doing? You're late. As Sassy say, you come late. All right. So Thanks, it was Julie. really good. Really if you remember to like the video, guys, if you haven't done so already, and if you're a person who just watch and you don't interact on the live, it's really appreciative of you being here. We still appreciate all when you not talk, all when you just listen, we still appreciate. But one would ask you to do right now, because this is going to be like church when we are collect often. What I'm going to ask you to do right now is just to click the thumbs up button. Just like the video, please. Even if you never said nothing at all in the live, just like the video. And if you can, you can share it, all right? If you dislike it, you can also dislike it. At least that shows interaction. All right, guys. So yes, there are more mm -hmm. people watching than thumbs up. More people than thumbs up. So give him the, the thumbs mm -hmm. up, guys, please. All right. So I really, really appreciate you guys being here. It was this was one of the best live shows I've done. And thank you so much, Simple Things Media. I really appreciate you showing up. All right. Because like at 10 minutes before thumbs up. Thumbs Ten minutes before the show, we actually talk. And like when I, say, I was I'm still sleeping, because it's one night off, and I was sleeping. Thumbs up. Yeah, man. Thumbs up, man. You see yeah. it. So, guys, remember, like the video. Uh, you're already here, so what I would recommend you guys to do as we finish, head over to Simple Things Outreach Media, YouTube channel, and support her. All right? We need to get her to 1,000 subscribers. We need to get her monetized. It's not, it's not for the money, but with stuff like this, you're given information on a platform. Well, sometimes you have to fund it, all right? Because some of these apps are not free. Information sometimes is not free either. So, yeah, it have to be funded. So, guys, once again, just want to say thank you.
Thank you for your donations. We can't stop saying thanks. And if, if I follow myself, I'll continue. Go, oh, thank you, guys. Thank you, guys. And really appreciate you guys. All right? It's something that mm -hmm. I can't mm -hmm. ever stop doing. I just have to tell you guys thanks. All right? So, yeah, until then, just want to say, y'all stay blessed. All right. Okay. God bless you all and thanks to all my new subscribers. I hope to see you coming over. Well, good, Alex. Thank you, thank you, thank you so much. Thumbs up. Thumbs up. So from Elite Jamaica, to all of you, tomorrow.